The things are coming. Yo, chat, what's up, baby? When are you going to come back to Rust, man? Fuck Cycle. I'm just kidding. You're killing it, bro. Keep streaming that shit. Keep killing that shit, buddy. I miss you on Rust, man. I won't lie, bro. Don't play with me. Eh. Give me some drops so I don't lose 90% of my viewership on join then. We should probably refill our water bottles. Fuck, did the Italians see me, dude? <clears throat> oh, my team speaks not working. Huh? Why is it not working? Relaunch it, one sec. Oh shit! Hello? User left your channel. Oh, there channel we go. I got switched. it. I fixed it. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Hello. 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 You uh, you still want to talk to the gardener? Uh, yes. He's this way. Which gardener you want to talk to? I believe his name is Rub. Yes, yeah, the still. gardener is this way. Oh shit! Go on. Did you get a haircut? Yes, I did. <laughs> he uh, he came around asking for you, saying that you still have his hat or something. I do, yes. Wait, do I? How do I get his? Ha How do I get his hat back, chat? I lost the hat, I think. He came around back. Yeah, I'm not sure what part of the garden he's working on. Damn, straight into it, huh? No time to chill. Did you hear the gate open over here? I did not. I don't know where the fuck he went.
This is it. Wu's about to get killed by the brothers at the dock, man. Oh, there he is. Just kidding. Hey, Ruffle. Rob, sir. Oh, yeah, Rob. Yeah, that's yes. it. Yes. Mr. Wu. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wu, sir? Uh, yes. I... I think you have my hat, sir. Yes, I do. C could I possibly have it back, sir? Why? Because it's my hat, sir. Why are you so scared? This I do not understand. Naturally, just a nervous person, sir. So, this is normally how you act? Yes, sir. I'm sorry See. if it's an inconvenience. You have claimed to see the man who broke in. You've seen everything, yes? I never said he broke in while I saw him, sir. I, I saw him go to the side entrance. And do what? Well, he just ran in as if no one was here, sir. So I approached to see if he had business. You normally approach people. If I don't recognize him from the household, yes. Even in your current state where you seem to be terrified of everything you see. It's not that I'm terrified of everything I see, sir. It's more so confrontations about my hat, for example. So you are not a confrontational man, but yet you want to confront this man. No, sir, I did not confront him. I approached him for conversation, sir. Conversation about what? His business, so that I could possibly offer help with finding a solution to his business. So you confronted him? I did not confront him, sir. I asked him a question. And what did you ask? If he needed help with anything, or if he was looking for anyone from the household to speak to. And what did he say? He said he was looking for the owner of the house, because the owner of the house, he had been told, was looking for people requiring work. And how did you respond to that? I said, what sort of work? I, I'm just going to assume by your regalia and your arms that you are a mercenary or a security personnel and he said he said that he was more of the lawless kind and that didn't make you uneasy it made me a bit uneasy yes and i said oh i shan't ask any more about your work and what did you do? I asked if he wanted me to give his name and mention that he was looking for the owner of the house. And then? Then he gave me a nickname and I asked, is that the name you want me to give? And he said, yes, that's the name I want you to give. And then he left. And then what did you do next? Gardening, sir. <laughs> because I'm a gardener. Sir. I see.
do not think yeah. you should work here. Just my opinion. You don't believe him? It's not that I don't believe him, it's just... He claims not to be a confrontational man, yet... Confront somebody. Confront yeah, somebody no. at the first sign he thinks he should. Yeah, no, I, uh, no, I kind of agree. He uh, contradicted himself a bit too much, though. It is the same story, so I do not believe he's lying about the story, but... He might be lying about the type of man he is. Maybe bring it up to the brothers. I will. How are you doing? And everybody's around today. Holy shit. Mr. Flood, if uh, if you're okay. Thank you. I'll look yeah. over this and then I'll I'll get back to you when we're done. Grazie. Appreciate this, really though. Yeah, not a problem. Right. Uh, we got a lot of hands here. Uh, why don't we? Where did Tony go? Tony is at his burrow. Oh, we'll go see Tony. Tony's yeah, at his, his burrow. I saw him in here, but. Uh, if he's not here, then he's going to his burrow. Okay. Doing. Hello, Cesar. All right, yeah, definitely. I appreciate all. That's a nice and, uh, vest. Just want to make folk aware. Mr. Wu. I mean, he was a. Uh, yes. He racked up. Doing okay. Last he was around. I'm doing all right. Trying to figure out who was stupid enough to break into this house. <laughs> yeah, we're on to that. So, um, each borough's got a got a task now to uh, to handle. You gotta you gotta speak to uh, to your captain about this, okay? And um, speaking okay. of, I don't want to interrupt. That's basically Apologize, it. but we're gonna be stepping out to ours. Hold our hands yeah, on yeah, deck right now. Yep, do that. Go ahead, go ahead. I will go find Oliver then. Go with Bonucci, Fat Al. Go with him. It's his birthday, so uh, go with him. I think he's going there right now. Uh, did you want me in me? here? Or... Yeah, you will. Eddie. Okay. Is that it? Are how do we pick gray not knowing that everybody wears gray? It's kind of sick though, because we fit in. Jesus, buddy, chill. We got business to do. We got business. Hold on. Business. Hey. Hi. Hi. There you are, Will. You know if Antonio's around? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I just woke up. I'm there. All right. Yeah. Uh, I need to talk to you and him eh? and Dom too if he's around in a minute. I'm a uh, flood. He's okay. inside. I will grab my jacket. Uh, hey. uh, well, for now, you you know, yeah. until, until I find you. Oh, thank you. You're good thank to you. do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> okay. I'll just I'll let you know when we're rolling out or whatever. I want to say happy birthday to Al, oh, but we would never do that. Yeah, I mean, doing uh, okay. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Copy those doing notes, and give him the was with me back. Oh, this fucking this guy. I like what you've done with your hair. Who we'll cut right, it? Going yeah. Yes. No, 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 not yes. It's 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 not a fucking yes or no question. Who? Who cut your hair? Hey, to the barber at the salon. Okay, at the salon, they have a barber shop in the salon. Oh, holy shit, they are really Valentine. running out of money over there. Yes. Oh, Van! Oh, you went down to Van. Oh, shit, this one. That, ex that explains the mud behind your ears. <laughs> hey. Oliver, do you need me for anything right now? Right this minute? No. Why? I was just curious. If you're gonna be doing something with Al, I'd like one of you or both of you to tell me what it is, so I know where to find you. Oh, I. Not really doing anything right now. Well, I, well, we gotta wait for fucking Coleon to get back from his fucking breakup, and uh, his what? Oh well, he's uh, he's gone out with uh, Renny. Uh, it's oh, it sounded like Uncle again. He sounded like this was gonna be the last time, but I don't know. But uh, well, uh, good luck to the kid. 
other than that, yeah. I, I have a couple of things I want to bring up uh, today, if yeah, that's so okay. Oh, no, I can understand you bringing shit up there. It's, it's you know, normal. But uh, as you can tell, my father's painting got stolen yeah. on my birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. I just Those are father's. Out. And my father's painting was stolen. It was a painting of my father. I'm sorry to hear that. It's the only... It's the only thing I can say him for. I speak to it sometimes. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. I wish hey, I had a one proper front. birthday gift for you, but here, you know what? Here's here's a... I hope it's a pump action revolver or whatever. <laughs> the pump action pump revolver. Action. Oh, shit, Whoa. man. That's, that's the hug. That's oh, the hug. All right. That's the hug. That's the birthday uh, hug. Yeah, birthday hug. Thank you from the birthday boy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. It ain't much. I didn't show me. Sorry about that. $50 is $50. I appreciate Wait, it. Wait, $50? Oh, flood. It's my birthday, too. I, I have $20 left. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> but I uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You have a good day, Flood. Okay. Thank yeah, you for, you the, uh, thank you for the talk. I'll see you around. Yeah. I love the house. It's yours. Oh, thank you. See birthday you gift was getting home last night, by the way. Yeah. I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. I, yeah, I'd imagine you wouldn't. <laughs> there was a lot of alcohol last night. I have no oh, idea what cool. you're talking about, Flood. Right, so, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. As I was saying, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my my father's painting, it was, it was stolen. And uh, I don't even know what he looks like anymore. Cesarius put Amadeo's crew on it. We'll get it back. What? The guy who took it is around earlier in the day. We're a later crew. I don't know what you want. It made the most sense. Oh my god, my god. I better get that fucking painting. I better get that fucking painting. Look, <laughs> the end result's the same. So we found out who did it then. We already know. Wolverine, otherwise known as some guy named Peyton. I Can you fucking believe that? A motherfucker named Wolverine. What the fuck is that? Does he that reside in Saint Denis or? At the moment, we've heard a couple things. Uh, like he uh, he frequently uh, resides around here, and he also frequently resides around uh, Van Horn. So uh, we can't really, you know, put a pinpoint on where he's at. <sighs> yeah, I, I. The other conversation is something completely bigger than this and I will save it for our meeting, okay? Well, holy fuck, it is a, it is a shit show and it's a good thing we didn't dip our toes in it, I tell you what. I see. <sighs> How long has calling on been gone? Does anybody know? Uh, like 15 minutes. I saw him here not too long ago. Yeah, and then you went to go talk to the, uh, the gardener, and then he was gone. You talked to the gardener? Yes. What'd he say? Well, he stuck to the same story, but I said a few things that does not make sense. Such as? He claimed to be a man who was terrified and not very confrontational, but his story makes him a very confrontational man. I just cannot wrap my head around it. His story. Yes, he said he approached mm. this Wolverine when he saw him trying to come into the house from the back to ask him what he was right. doing, why, was, why he was here, but in the same breath claimed to not be very confrontational and claimed to be a very terrified man. Right. You didn't hurt him or nothing, did you? No. Alright. Wait, what the fuck are we gonna have to do? We have to fucking arm the gardeners now? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I was sleeping. I was fucking sleeping. What, you went to a house when people are sleeping every fucking night? What the fuck is this Wolverine? I wanna carve his fucking eye out. Oh, wow. Very sensitive of you, El. Very sensitive of you. Okay. Okay. He steals something, the most prized thing that you have in the house. 
like your like your eyeball or something. Okay, all right, double dipping. Then hey, what do you want to do? Do not think arming the gardener is wise. So yeah, because then you know one day where we poke fun at him, all oh, these these flowers are too bad, and then he goes, you know what? I ain't getting paid enough for this. And then boom, boom, boom. We got nine casualties. He's run away on a horse. And then we're spending the next month trying to find him. No, you know what? It's not worth it. Not with nine casualties from a six shot gun? Holy shit. It, you know what? The farmer just turns out to be the best shot in the fucking creation somehow. <clears throat> it, it also bothers me how this Wolverine stole a painting, but the gardener did not see that. What did he say? I'm not sure, but I feel it would have been very obvious he was stealing something, no? Yeah, especially if he's walking out with a crate of our medical supplies. Oh, he yes. walked out with the medical supplies. Uh-huh. Shit, we're gonna actually have to have people stood around there 24 fucking 7 at this point. <laughs> This is I. Everything okay here? Yeah, we're just yeah, discussing we're just... some shit. Well, we're waiting on Corleone to come back from his, uh, what, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, tenth date with Rennie? Yeah, I fucking tell you what, at this point, I might even, you know, you know, I'm around, you know, sometimes in the morning. You know what I'm gonna have to fucking do? I'm just gonna have to buy. I'm just, no, not buy. I'm just gonna have to fucking pay. For two people to stand outside the gates, be like, hey, no one's awake. Go home. Don't even try it. We're going to have to get. And then after they realize that we got two on the front, then we're going to have to put two on the back. Then they're going to start climbing. I can't fucking do this no more. Hey, if you're waiting here, why don't you come on up, huh? Get out of the middle of the street. Come on. I didn't know who was inside. You want me to go and try to fetch Antonio? Do you have any idea where he is? Somebody said he was at the borough. He's not at the borough. See, I w I went by there just before I ran into you. So just so just quickly, what's our borough called? Our borough is Little Bronx. Oh, okay. What came up with that one? I can barely hear. So, I just did that. Wait, Tony's not Antonio. Wait, what? Hey boy, hey. Isn't Tony dating Rennie? Like, that's Antonio, what? No, 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 hold on. Stop, stop this, stop it, stop it. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Alfonso. Fidel. Happy birthday to you. So both Tonys are dating Rennie? Thank you, thank you. I heard him say that Tony's in the borough, different Tony. Oh, I see what you're saying. Not for singing out. Punch him, he's broken. Yogurt. He's broken. Punch him. I just can't. I can't do it. Happy Holy birthday, shit. Hell. I can't I can't fucking hit the guy. Breath control of a god. Yeah, she went for quite a while. I'm not gonna fucking lie there. But yeah, the day's been nice. I just got given fifty dollars by flood. Oh yeah, hell. Uh, Vivian blew me a kiss. Whoa. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my. But overall, God. Vivian is definitely the best gift of the day. Uh, I don't. I. I'm. I I'm honestly, somebody. <laughs> honestly, some. Fucking... Somebody could. Uh, well, what did I say? Oh, what did I say? Listen, no, Vivian no. is a. Vivian. Uh, oh, it's just the way you said it. Vivian blew me. A kiss. A kiss. Oh, what Speaking the fuck? Up. No, I did not. No. <laughs> no she's right fucking up. She's way. Right she's right no there. Fu is she? Hi. Go say hi. Sh Go on. No, Come on. Not Come Who on. is it? Who is it? No, no. Is it say nice things. Say, say that I've got like a. Say that I've got like a oh, really cool. Oh, it's Clementine. Oh, it's Clementine. Oh. It's Clementine. No, what Clementine. Oh, Rennie doesn't live here. I had a Rennie mini fucking heart here. attack. What? Rennie, Rennie, don't live here. Rennie told me she might live here. Who the fuck is this Clementine person? I don't know. She so what else have you gotten for your birthday, huh? Uh, nothing. 
except like seven happy birthdays. I wanted one big one, but it's still just split up off into multiple different ones. Mm -hmm. I just wanted one big happy birthday, but it couldn't happen. Oh, I smoked a, uh, I smoked a fucking, uh... I can't believe this guy's from England has a UK a accent or whatever. Cannabis with a fucking Tony when I hit the time. And you can't even that tell happened. this character. That was good for about, well, about now. I then led a meeting uh, with uh, Mikey for my birthday, so that was pretty fun. Uh, other than that, nothing. I went fishing. I'll probably go fishing all day tomorrow for my birthday. Fishing. Hey. Okay. You know what? You had an idea the other day to, uh, to go hunting, right? Oh, you want to do that today? We can do that today. I mean, it's your birthday, right? It's a special day. We can go hunting. Get you a nice fat fucking pig out there. Hey, listen, it's just, it's just the, uh, it's just, you know, the morning at the moment. Why not do it tomorrow night? Okay. How about that? What the fuck does that mean? Do it tomorrow. Let's go hunting tomorrow. Come on. It's your birthday. No be. Remember, I live on Sizzica times. Yeah? You gonna go to bed early on your fucking birthday? Come on. <laughs> ah, Wool, tell him. Tell him, Wool. <clears throat> well. What? You do what you want, I guess. I'm not sure. You see, motherfucking God. You ain't helping here. You want to go tomorrow? We can go tomorrow then, okay? Yeah, because then you know your brother might be around. We can actually plan it. We go up there. Oh, I'd like to go into the fucking snow. Ah, uh, shit. Why? You want to go to the Be fucking snow? Because, you know, hunting everywhere else is all the same. But when you go to the snow, that's a different fucking animal. Yeah. Fucking grizzly bears and wolves and shit. Okay, put that in the book. Oliver is not going. Okay. <laughs> you don't you don't you don't get to decide if I go or not. You know what? Just because of that, out of spite, I'm going. You can't stop me. Okay. Put that down in the book. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you better write it down. So when you're done, I can shove your fucking journal of your fat fucking ass. Okay, let me oh. just write this down. Oliver does not want me to have a nice birthday. Would, would you have gardener? a nice birthday if I wasn't there? Is no, that it's the saying? same fucking gardener. He's the gardener that let the fucking guy in the house. What guy? Wolverine. My painting on my father's gun. He let he him in the house. To, he didn't let him in. He just didn't do anything to stop him. We're not, we didn't hire him for security. He did his job. And this Peyton fuck, knowing that we're that we're sleeping here, just walked up into the house and walked right in and did uh, whatever he fucking did. He took your grandmother's painting, yeah? My grand <laughs> Jeez. No, uh, come on, I have some fucking respect, man. Come what on. It? It's my father. That's <laughs> what I say. You said grandmother. You said grandmother. No, 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 no. You got to clean your dirty Italian ears out. I said father. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two of us are saying that you said it. I heard them say father. That's right. Oh, come on. Oh, That's right. You fucking he ain't Italian. Ass. He ain't Italian. He heard it right. No, well, he's getting used got... to, he, he's getting used yeah, to him. Yeah, he his probably age, heard man. you wrong from all that fucking brown on his nose. Oh. 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 Anyway. Ollie does the not heads. like wood, and he can tell so much. Is his. Bring him over here. Bring him home. The fucking gardener. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You talked to him already? Yeah. Oh, I also spoke with him, him, yes. Yeah, we've talked, we've talked about right. nausea. All right. Fucking God, and as I swear to God. I can't, like I can't a, fucking like, believe this shit. Like I said, we're going to have to start fucking arming them. Or some shit, we're going to have to hide them in the fucking place. We're going to have to keep our horses here straight with a fucking gun at this point. Because everybody knows we fucking sleep here, but they still just ain't there. I got an idea. Fine. We rigged the doorway right before everybody goes to bed. We rigged the fucking doorway. The moment they open that goddamn door, boom. Lupada goes out with the fucking double barrel shotgun, blasting the motherfucker in the balls. <laughs> the balls? The balls. That's right. Right in the bridge hole. No kids? No kids. 
Huh? Nice. And in the backside, in the back door, all these fucking bear traps. Huh? Okay. We're putting bear no. traps in his back door? You dirty I, bastard. And we're going to blow his balls off? I, I can't agree to this. I'm sorry I can't. Listen, I have good reasoning. Yeah. I go out for smoke in the middle of the night. We all know that. Okay, I... I smoke you know, make and the a lunch. sandwich and another sandwich and a steak and a yeah, sometimes, piece of cake. You know, I... Oh, I ate those eggs that you gave me. You fuck. What? Listen, what, am I, what else am I supposed to do with an egg? We're going to have a box of a thousand-year-old eggs in the fucking box. And there's okay. only one person in this house that's going to be eating that goddamn box of, of eggs. And it's that man that's standing right over there. That's sitting down, sorry. So, Joe. He, he means what? wool. Oh. I mean wool. I know my head's big. he don't big, eat the gabagool. But don't call me no egghead. Wait, he don't eat gabagool? No. He doesn't like it. I don't care if he doesn't like it or not. I'll fucking force feed him, mate. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. No. Please don't. Is that... Is that the reason you threw up on the table? Yes. Oh. You fuck. Not Have liking is one thing, but throwing up on the then? table? You told anyone, mate? I did not. So, all of us is just, have just found this out now. Well, no. Nope. Antonio's aware of this, yes. You good? You good over We're going to be waiting. I, uh, for the only, per the only person I, the only person I feel sorry for is, uh, is Polly. You know, he spends all day cooking nice food just for Wood to throw it up and say that it's shit. Ooh, Oliver, hey. can I talk uh, to you? Not everybody's hey, going to like the food around the house, okay? I never said it was shit. I only thought it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> now you just told us that you think it's shit. Yes, but... Prior to now, I have not. So... Uh, you, you, you don't think the game will go shit? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss on the eggs. I'm gonna take a piss on the eggs. I'm, I, I, I can't take this. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? He, he, he said the game will go shit. Who? Who? <laughs> you know what? Just for added emphasis, you know what you get, boo? You know what you. Get gas, so. He said the food was shit. He said it was shit. No. No, we ain't doing this. We're gonna make him like it. We're gonna make him fuck a I'm getting him a plate. No, 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 no. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Can't believe my fucking ears. <laughs> but it's the way. It's the way, all right? There's nothing we could do. The whoa. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> he says that he's huh? some, uh, before he brings it back that fucking plate, some interesting information uh, about the notes that Flood took. You got some inf interesting information? Oh, yeah. So apparently, get this, they were talking about, the, the conversation switched from, uh, about him working for Effie and all that shit to them talking about Delaney and what happened with him and his relationship with us. And get this, apparently yeah, Walter said... I can't fucking do it. Hey, one minute, Al. Walter apparently said... No, hold up, you hold up. You give me, go ahead, do your thing. Hey, hold up, hold up, Scapo, go ahead. Eat the fucking Gabagool. Eat the Gabagool. Eat the yeah. Gabagool. It's his birthday. Hey, my birthday. Just, just, 
Just eat that meat. You would have done that and gave a my birthday, would you? Just, just eat that meat. That's, that's kind of sus, all right? What you mean, just, what the fuck? What does that mean? Eat the gabagoo. Eat the gabagoo. My Mr. Wolf. Eat the Mr. Wolf. Eat the gabagoo. Where you going? Wait, where you going? Where you going? Hey, hey. Where you going? Come back in here. You're getting sued Those are my grandmother's flowers. You better fucking not. Where is Ron? You better fucking not. Holy Angelo is buried right there. <laughs> oh, you throw it up all over the Holy Angelo. Do it. Oh, 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 that's what you made of dough. Look what you fucking made of. Go hold his hand. You're eating go every bit. I'm not gonna go hold up. his fucking hand. Hold his fucking look, look at him. It's wet. Go hold his hand. <coughs> it's sticking <coughs> all over his fucking pants, Alfonso, man. Alfonso, Edgar Capo, I am giving you a direct order to go hold his hand. Go, go hold, hold his, his hand. Pulling rank, are you now? I'm pulling rank, motherfucker. Go hold his hand. Go hold his hand. He's done. 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 Put your, put your Furio right there. <laughs> oh. Well, Furio, I would have started beating you already. Yeah, <laughs> true. New task for you, Ollie. So, you go in a tight pan and order in a full box of thousand-year-old eggs for this man. So, you already gave me this. You already gave me this task. I haven't seen them. Oh. Well, go go I, down to tight pan. You don't have the strength to stomach I, that. He hasn't I'm been sorry. around for days. We will build your stomach, okay? But I'll, I'll check. There's some new I people over there. I not the think pan. it's possible. It was unseasoned. That's what it was. It was unseasoned. <laughs> That's what it was, guys. Nobody's been eat, seasoning me. I eat no one's been seasoning the game of gold. gold all the time. Why don't people like Oh, so do I. What do you like? Do you like salt? Pepe? It's a, it's a cold cut. It's supposed to be raw. Why don't people like raw meat? I don't get it. Wait, what's your favorite food? Meat and fish. Oh. Listen, I'll what fish him. Oh, yeah, what meat did you fish? say? What did you say? I think he said just meat and fish. You realize Gabagool is did like... Did you say meat and fish or beaten fish? <laughs> meat. At least That's he didn't say ass. Yes. Meat, meat and fish. Well, we don't fucking know. We don't know, Mr. I guess. Wolf, would it be more comfortable for you to eat ass? If we... No, no not oh, shut up. Ass. Come on, shut, shut the, the fuck up. Out Jesus here. Christ. If you were to... Have a box of fish fillet, salmon, and eggs here at the house. But no, but yes, no but cheat. You do not need to do Amadeo, that for me. Amadeo. Sorry. Go ahead, Wu. <clears throat> I said yes, but you don't have to worry about doing that for me. Oh, shit, yeah. I, I can fucking get you some salmon if you want. I'll get you some big old fucking salmon as well. I mean <laughs> the juicy type. I mean perfectly <laughs> caught from the nipple. You ever, you ever seen a salmon the size of Alfonso? They exist. I don't think that is possible. Oh, do you want to? Uh -huh. Sure. I get that shit. Ninety dollars. That is quite expensive. Not no. worth it. <laughs> hey. He said nineteen dollars is expensive. <laughs> I heard not for you, me. I heard you say ninety. You said ninety. That it? Oh shit, that's still not expensive for me. <laughs> hey, wait, good. Shit, I'll get, I'll get your fucking the ninety dollar one. Oh, good thing you're providing the fish, then, huh? Well, no, I'm gonna be fucking selling it. Yeah. You're gonna fish yeah. all the salmon or, or, or salmon, whatever the fuck. How are you saying? It is salmon. Um, Salmon. Or you, you can go buy it at the fishmonger, whatever, and you're going to fill a goddamn crate of fish and some eggs from Taipan for Mr. Wu here. Okay, what? everybody in this house is going to eat. All right, I don't want nobody having to order takeaway or having to go somewhere else. You have the food that you need right here. All right, this is your home as well. So we're going to have a box of that. Ali's going to make sure that that uh, all in order, yep. right, Ali? Oh, yeah, yeah. Call me the fishmonger, baby, because I'll box those fish all day. 
<laughs> no, Mate. no, I get. I'm the fucking fish, man. I'm the fucking fisher here. Not him. Me. <laughs> Oh, 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 wah, wah. Oh, Mate, oh, oh hey, I don't, come I don't on, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, go back to where we were before. I gotta talk to Amadeo. He's brought, he's brought a guest. Sure. Yeah, Bonucci, um, the lady is, uh, wanted to talk. Where the fuck is Antonio, man? Yeah. What can I say? What can I yeah, say? yeah, you remember, you remember we met earlier today. Miss King. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, what can I, I do for you? Well, I didn't ever get your telegram, and you talked about maybe uh, showing me some fishing sometime. And uh, oh, I, baby. oh, that's funny. That's cute. That's cute. That's uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, hey, get shut the fuck up. Get Damn. shut the fuck up over there. You know what? Go, <laughs> go in. Go to your fucking room. Go oh, to your room. Lord. No, I, I, you gave me some tips, and I can't remember exactly what they were, but uh, you said the. Is he the actually European? Yeah, the same is real fucking good, especially the ones that I catch. You want to go by, by over by uh, Cumberland. That's where you want to go to go fish. That's where the, uh, that's where the money comes. Where is whereabouts is Cumberland? Yeah. Near, uh, near Valentine. I got a feeling that uh, Ali is thinking about something stupid in his head off there here in Cumberland. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to show. Cumberland. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it right at the falls or? No, nah, so it's down there. It's down that stream. You know, we'll go around there and you, uh, you'll find the good shit. Yeah. All right. No, I, I just uh, ain't got many friends around. So I, I remembered you talked about fishing today. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, do you, uh, would you mind if I had your telegram? Uh, yes. Uh, MO798. All right, that, that's great. Thank you. Um, if you if you ever want, you know, uh, I don't know if you want mine or not, but um, yeah, sure, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. It's a uh, NF one five one. And it's 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 Jezreel. But I got I got people. Uh, well, just old history. Like hey, where's Antonio, man? I'm oh, very sorry. Uh, NF one five one. No foundations. No foundations. What's the number? Sorry. One five one. Okay, thank you. Well, Mr. Yeah. I shall I see you around. No, I, no, I mean thank you. I appreciate it, and uh, I might give you a holler sometime. If you ever need me company on a fishing trip, just give me, give sure. me, give me word. Sure. All right, All right, so there's no care. shot. Is he? Is, right, is he you. actually your opinion, guys? Me, me. I, I kind of have a small. Tiny, uh, small, tiny thing I need to talk to you about. <laughs> uh, 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 you might want to. Have you released all any kind of uh, tension and anger today? By the way, who are you talking to? Uh, all of his. Yeah, I took a massive shit yesterday. Perfect. And uh, this is the perfect time to <clears> talk. <throat> Hold on, let me take my jacket off. I don't like it being on. All right, looks like we're getting comfortable here. All right. How you doing? Hmm? Who's that? Miss King. Mm. I've never seen that guy. R R Richie, Rich, Richardson, or something. Send him to uh, send him to Salerno's borough if he wants a meeting or something around here. Okay. Oh, he doesn't want a meeting. Okay, just passing by. All right. I'm going to play. sleep upstairs. Okay, see you later. Have a lovely seat. Now. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. So, I have entered a platonic marriage. <laughs> oh! Did you not hear me correctly? No, I heard you. I, I heard the marriage part overall. Okay, now let me say this again clearly. Okay. I have entered a platonic business marriage. Oh, you're not hearing it properly. No, I'm hearing it properly. I understand what you're saying. Where the fuck was asking for permission? Do I have to get permission on all my business? No. Would you have to get permission to ask for somebody's hand in marriage? Yes. Oh, shit. It's platonic a business or not. Well, this kind of is me asking for permission. No, because you said you've already entered into it. No. 
No, I have not. You literally just said that. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe, well, you know, maybe I thought I would bring it up. So, where? Uh, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh. The fuck are, why are they, no, they, holy. Oh. Right, anyways. So, Sophia oh, Shaman. Sophia Shaman. She works at the Pearl. Uh, so, I'm tired of, uh, you know, get, getting married anymore. Or, you know, doing anything with uh, women anymore. So, uh, I thought, because she had the same feelings, to enter a marriage with no feelings. Now, there are many benefits around this, if you want to know them. Go on. Number one, she doesn't have to know anything of what I do. All it is is passing through the window. Oh, hi, honey. See you later. As I pass through the fucking bar, she doesn't come here. I don't go over there all the time. At the end of the day, listen. So, she doesn't get fucking harassed by the cowboy Billy badasses anymore. After that. Hold, hold on. Hold on. What's wrong with you? I need to speak to Mr. Wu. Why? I, I would like my hat back. Did you take this man's hat? <clears throat> I did. Why the fuck would you do that? It was on the ground. So I took it. It's his fucking hat, Wu. <laughs> He's our employee. I will return it if you wish. Yeah, I do wish. Don't fucking be taking shit from him. <laughs> Unless he deserved it. It's just a fucking hand. Thank you. Right. Next time you lose your hat, eh? It'll be a hundred dollars. All right, find this fee. You understand? Hundred dollars. Okay. Today's fee. How much you got in your pocket, huh? Fifty-two dollars, sir. Fifty-two dollars. Fifty fucking two dollars. Where'd you leave your hat? It's not that I left it, sir. It's. Mr. Oliver hugged my throat and knocked it off my head. Sir. You're saying, you're saying Ali beat you? You're telling me this kind I man back here with a fucking beat crossed you. eye beat he's you? He's he goes to church every boy. Sunday, you understand? He's a, he's That's a right. good Catholic boy, he is. He's uh, a choir boy. Uh, I don't doubt that, sir, but... I must be misremembering. Hey, must I be. think you are. I think you must are. Must be. What's, right? what's going on? Now look what at him. Need? Look at him back there. He's crying now. Huh? <laughs> I I try to, 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 to be a good good person. So you he, you we found the head. Whoa! Where do we find a head? <laughs> on the ground. On the ground. Ah. It got so eh? Hats on the ground. You know, there's two things, Mr. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Rob. Sir. Rob. Rob. Of course your name's fucking Rob, all right? All right? Of course your fucking name's Rob. What's your real name, huh? That sounds Come like here. a fake fucking name. What's your name? Rob. Sir, Rob Dowden. Rob what? What? Rabbit? Ra Ra Roberto? Rob. Just Rob. Come you here fucking quick. robbing right shit back. now? Come you you the one that fucking broke into this house, huh? Rob. You took, you took my, you took my father's painting. I don't actually care if you took his head. Right. I want you to take it you again later and charge him a hundred dollars to get it back. Two things that go on the ground. One thing. Easy money, baby. Flowers. <laughs> Fifty-fifty, you and me. Yeah. Okay. The second thing. That not, goes right now, the no, ground, not right now. Not right now. A dead bodies. All right. Uh -huh. Just, just fucking limp, lifeless fucking bodies. Those are two things. So what's you tell me? What's the first thing that goes in the ground? Flower. Flowers. Right. That's good. That's good. Second thing, 
that goes into the ground. What what goes up? What else? Huh? The body, sir. Corpses. That's right. Oh. That's right. Now, is there a third thing? Do hats go on the ground? No, sir. No, right? No. Hey. That's right. That's right. So it's a violation of uh of the two the two uh, what do you call it uh, items that go on the ground the flowers and the corpses number three don't exist motherfucker all right yes sir hey uh, to to show that you are sorry what? about leaving your head on the oh. floor at that second tree you see the second tree over there that one that's right there's there's something that shouldn't be on the floor over there and that is uh, the remains of someone's food. Can you please uh, go clean that up? Oh, if with that's your okay, head. please. Uh, uh, with your head, Rob! Yes. Yes, sir. Run. Fucking run. Ain't no and the next like time you prison. fucking allow a thief motherfucker to come into this house. You're going to be eating that fucking vomit or whatever is over there. Oh. All right, you be scooping it up with your fucking butt cheeks. You understand? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? What the yeah, fuck with the butt cheeks? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh, 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 good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Oh, morning. Hey. <laughs> what did the gardener do? What did the gardener do? He let the thief inside the house, and then he fucking left his hat on the ground, and then we had to pick it up. And I, I. Oh, is he also a security guard now? By the no. Way, just so we're uh, all on the same page. I wanted him to think that I was upset of Wu for taking his hat, but I just told Wu on the side to take his hat again and charge him that hundred dollars. That's kind of but, Jesus Christ! It's a fucking gardener. He makes what? what you you well, realize I, he ain't got I, money, I heard, right? I heard in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard. I heard in the last two weeks. For for somebody You're fucking who's ruthless, man. Holy hey, shit! Jesus, for someone who's whispering, you sound very loud. Wait, as I was saying, what? uh I I actually heard. I see, you know, I spoke to the guy. I said, how much have you been paid so far? And he said, are you ready for this? This guy, this guy stays in the fucking gardens all day. Don't know about fucking garden work. He's only been paid 45 fucking dollars. <laughs> that is are you not true. kidding me? That is not true at all. Oh. I gave him 90 yesterday. Robbie, oh, over here, please. Fuck. Leave, show me, just quickly show me the wash your hands over there. Whatever you gotta do. Right, so I asked you a second ago. Actually, maybe not a second ago. I asked you about half an hour ago. What the fuck? Uh, how much have you been paid since you've been working here? What did you say? I think $45. $45. For, just... for the work and then $90 for Mr. Oliver. What, you think I was giving you that out of kindness of my heart? No, sir. I... I don't know, sir. I will allow you right now to apologize to uh, Mr. Oliver about disrespecting his uh, finances to you. You failed to mention it. They mean nothing to you. It... It's a lot to me, sir. I, I am so... Say it with your diaphragm, Rob. I am sorry. Okay, he's sorry. Do you, do you accept he's his sorry. apology? Is the vomit still cleaned up or no? I'll take that as a no. Oh, oh my. Oh Why'd my god. To the front door? I told you to leave what, it you're trying to make us sick? Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my god. god. Get, it, get it the fuck out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. The fuck did you eat? Go to the fountain out front right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. This poor guy. <laughs> I'm fucking sick. Poor fucking guy, man. We are fucking ripping this guy apart. It is the funniest fucking thing. My I fucking wish. love him. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love him a little bit. Working here is an experience, okay? He wants to work over here and drop his head on the ground for Wu to pick it up? That's not good. How you doing, Mr. Wu? <clears throat> I'm doing okay. I, I just wish the guy had a better name than Rob. What kind of fucking name is Rob? Oh, you know what I mean? good. Now we're just waiting on Coleon. I gotta go check telegrams. We'll be right back.
By the way, his last name is Man. I asked him. He said he didn't have a last name. I asked if it's okay if we call him Woo Man. He said it's okay. His name is Woo Man. That's true. All right, Mr. Man, no problem. <laughs> I'm going to go check telegrams with, uh, with Sonny. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So, Scott Bo, come on. Hey, what's going on, boy? Oliver, I believe we'll be waiting quite a while for Antonio. Uh, what's going on? Sake. Antonio's not here. No, he's on a no, fucking he's break not. update. He's supposed to with him. love before business. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, so he... Break update? <laughs> Which fucking yeah. bride is he talking to now? Oh, he's running. <gasps> what is it, Rob? What's that everything? It says. Why are you still here? Get back to the flowers. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm hey, so a little saying? smile next time, too. Jesus Christ, you're making me sad looking at you. Yes, sir. Oh, say something mean, Dave. Oh, say oh, something oh, mean, that guy. I do think we should fire him. <laughs> we opinion. should fire the guy. Holy God shit. damn. I just fucking got here. I, I, I kind of want to keep him here put so on my bully shit. the fuck out of him. I'm not going to lie. Yes, but that man is not truthful, and it worries me. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That fucking Antonio. Oh, Zephy. Oh. I, uh, if you're uh, around tomorrow night, I'll see you tomorrow night. Well, Jesus Christ. Isn't Effie the lady that sure Tony hates? Child, it's easier to travel when you're in, like, there's two of you. It's easier to talk. Yeah, just have have him Fine. be able to drive okay. for you. Someone gets <laughs> Different Effie? Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. I right, see them all right. See you later, everybody. Yeah. Uh, see you later. Uh, How long do you think we'll wait? Because we've already been waiting like 30 minutes. I don't want to wait no more. I'm not sure. Well. All and right, let's fuck it. The woman he loves. So, I'll have an individual talk with him later. Uh, Dom, Wu, Al, with me. Uh, Effie, Hi, if uh, you're sticking around the house, Cesare and Sonny are at the telegram office. They'll be back. If you're going to stay up, tell them that we'll be at the borough. Okay, yeah. uh, have you guys, do you know if Amade was still awake? No, he went to bed. No, he went to bed about half an hour ago. Okay, I'll wait around for the guys then. Yeah, could you also let one Where's of the you? brothers know that I want to speak with them after? Yeah, it's nothing important. Well, do. Yeah. Okay. Take care, guys. So, right. Day. right, so I actually heard that somebody tried to rearrange the kitchen. Somebody and tried I... to rearrange. And I heard that person who tried to rearrange the kitchen was you. Me? Yeah. I didn't rearrange uh -oh. nothing. I heard you were putting shit in boxes that weren't supposed to be there. Like what? I went to go grab a coffee this morning. What was in there? Meat. You know that coffee was stolen, right? The fucking guy that came into our house, stole our crates, our medical supplies, stole the coffee too. Trust me, I didn't, I didn't do I no rearranging, nothing. I just brought more stuff in. I want, I, I, I swear to God, I want this guy dead. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I want this guy uh, caught up into nine different places and put into the nine different uh, villages and towns of this uh, since Christ. Christ, I mean, I, hey, I mean, gotta respect the vision. Yeah, I mean, it sounds possible. Why, Steve, my father's painting? Absolutely fucking not. I want to respect it. You stole your father's painting. Hey. Motherfucker. A painting that was painted of him at the big game, New York, 1963. It's not there no more. I don't know what he looks like anymore. I forgot what his face looks like. Hey, there's one thing I know. You don't need things like paints or drawings or whatever to remember your loved ones. He's always going to be right there. Yeah, if you're poor. <gasps> oh, all right. Wait, listen, he was a rich man and so am I. I want to see a fucking painting of the guy. He paid good, he paid good money for that money. Oh, he hey. paid good money for that painting. I want to uh, see it as well. I understand, I understand. Is 
Saw a lot of guys leave the San Denis not too long ago, just before I came to the house. A lot of guys. Guys, it's a slip up, man. We're not actors. We're scuffed role players, man. I was counting like 12. 12 fucking guys. Holy shit, 12? Yeah. yeah. So, you sure? Jesus Christ, and holy fuck, then I'm not even gonna put him on one. Anyways, hey, Wu, have you been? You ain't been saying much. I've been all right. Hey, I guess it's better than that being all right, right? Yes. You smoke much? I do. Huh. All right. Here, take one of these. Is it is it a cannabis cigarette? Nah, it's just a cigarette. No. Oh. You want the cannabis Thank you. Sorry. Are you good? Well, you want one too? I mean, it's just a lack Oh, no. I, oh, I've got cannabis cigarettes in this kind of my uh... What's uh, the what's cannabis? Well, Tom, take a seat. There's a few things we need to discuss. I'll uh, get to the easy one first. I was wishing Antonio was going to be here for this so I didn't have to repeat myself, but it's not a big deal. The first one. Things are... Uh, we're widening things, as you can see. There's friendly competition is being encouraged through the uh, different crews. Uh-oh. Cesare wants to uh, enact this whole new top earner thing. The top earners, meaning the people who kick up the most at the end of the week, are the ones who get suggested for the big jobs. A.K.A. us. We gotta make sure that we're the top earners every week. I, I, donating $100 each week is fine, but let's try to start getting more the way we can. Go mining, go fishing, do whatever you gotta do. Or do that. Call it early Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I put him on thousand five hundred last week. You got you got the hard workers over here. Hang on to that here. until, hang on to that until Friday. Until Friday. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Glad I don't have to talk about that too much. We should. Uh, the idea is, maybe, eventually. Uh, some of the boroughs, the lesser earners get a little smaller, the bigger earners get a little bigger. If you know what I'm saying. We might get a little bit more territory. We're already the biggest borough in the entirety of Saint Denis. Let's keep it that way. Now for the second thing. I'm gonna say some things. You two might not like them. But you're gonna hear me. And then you're gonna tell me what you think about them. Capish? Capish. I'll start with you, Wolf. What is your loyalty, Eli? This isn't a trick question. To the family. Is it to the family or is it to the brothers? Not sure what you mean. It's the same thing to me, no? The brothers are the head of the family. When you have an issue, or you need to talk to somebody, etc., you shouldn't be heading straight to them. I'm huh? your captain. I'm in charge of you. You're my guy. I take care of you. Shouldn't be going to other people. None of you should be. If I need to go to Cesare or Sonny about it, yeah, I'll escalate it. But you should be bringing your problems to me. I'm in charge of this crew. I don't think I've done that since he's been made my captain, oh, that though. That goes for all of you. Understood. And specifically to you, Wu, because I know you've said that your loyalty lies with uh, Sonny and Cesare, and I'm, I'm just curious, I'm apprehensive, since I know so little about you. 
on whether or not you're going to obey my orders when I give them to you, or if you're going to ask every time, is that a direct order, or are you going to ask every time what the Sonny and Cesare want? It shouldn't be that way. If I tell you to jump, I want to hear how high. A nod from Cesare and Sonny is a nod from me. Is everybody clear on that? Crystal. Yes. Alfonso? Oh, here. Okay. Dominic. Yeah, Oliver. Trying to figure out how to broach this uh, delicately here. The way you uh, go about yourself. I know you've been a part of this family for a long time. You've been an associate for a very long time with us. And you finally made you finally made it to Soldat, and that's a good thing. You're finally going up. You're on the way. Great things could be in your future. You're a good earner. You're a good guy. You're a right type of guy. But that same thing needs to go for you as well. Only... It doesn't go for Sonny and Cesare. For some reason, it goes for Antonio. Huh? You've been hanging around him and, and asking him questions like he's the boss. Damn. Oh, Antonio? Yeah, Antonio. Well, what do you mean? G give me an example. I don't... The other day in the alleyway, you straight up came to him before I even knew you were part of my squad. Didn't tell me you were part of my squad. Went up to Antonio and started reporting things you should have been reporting to me. You should be reporting to me. You should be telling me, hey, I'm going to go out for a bit instead of just saying, this is where I'm going. You need to check with me. You need to make sure. And for fuck's sake, you need to watch your goddamn tone. I'm getting sick and fucking tired of having to tell you that. And I am not the only one who has noticed it. Jesus. Don't be talking the way you've been talking to people above your station. Because that is a one-way fucking ticket to six feet under, my friend. Damn. Yeah, Check you got it. Yourself. I Act right. Overall, I need to make sure that we're all on the same page with this. I need to make sure we all understand. If you have something that you think, ah, I need to talk to Cesare and Sonny, you need to come to me first. If Cesare and Sonny need to be bothered with it, I'll take it to them. You gotta trust me. I am the one who looks out for you. You need something, you come to me. Somebody's giving you problems, you come to me. Understood. Alright. Good. Good. I don't like, I don't like talking like this. To my guys. I don't. Especially on a fucking Alfonso's birthday. Yeah. But this couldn't wait another day. The more I saw it, the angrier I got. Like, for instance, when we were leaving just now, Dominic, you said you needed to talk to Cesare and Sonny about something. What is it? It's actually a little bit about the, uh, the job. Okay. Thing I got going on with Lombardo. Yeah, I, I'm aware, but why why didn't you come to me with it first? Why are you talking asking to talk to them directly? I was just thinking a bit on what um what they was telling me when we talked to the doc. I wanted a bit of their advice. Sorry, it was nothing personal. Nothing personal. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, it's no, nothing personal. I understand. Nothing personal. I understand. Oh, God. So, this job, right? This... This hit that needs to happen so badly. For the sake of yourself and for your mother. God love her. You, you want specifically their advice instead of asking for the advice of a man who's been planning that man's death for... However long? Months, yes. 
Cesare and Sonny aren't the end-all be-all of all information. Ask around. Don't go straight to them unless they're right in front of you and they got nothing to lose. There is a chain of command. Yeah. You're right. I don't I don't know with you cuz I've I've heard this you're right thing before and then you fall back into it again. <laughs> how, how how do I know this is going to stick this time though? How do I know <laughs> you're listening to me instead of just telling me what I want to hear? I'm not telling you what you want to hear, Oliver. I promise. There ain't no excuse or nothing I could tell you that would make you change your mind. You just got to have to see. I won't disappoint you again. You are not gonna like what happens if you do. Am I fucking clear? Yeah. You're clear. Good! Alright. Hey, meeting adjourned. We can go no. back to our business. Yeah, he does give Arthur vibes. Today, no, eh? we still have business to do before we celebrate. So. What happened earlier? Something that I wanted to bring up to, to the brothers, but I, uh, I'll bring it up to you because uh, you are my uh, the capo. But I would like this uh, to be spoken to with the captains. Oh no, with the uh, with the brothers, and I'd like to be there present for it if that's okay, because this is a big fucking deal. Jim Sky, the person who gave out the hit on Reading the other week, you know mm -hmm. the one that we tried to do but fucking bust. Right. Well, guess who he's come to again? His friendly neighborhood, the the Chenzo family. And uh, he's come in huffing and puffing. He's come up to our front door asking uh, to speak to us about something. So, you and all the other captains and uh, Cesare were out at the uh, doing whatever meeting you were doing. So, it was just left down to myself and uh, Mikey is the uh, two highest, uh, highest ranking uh, people there. He comes in storming about this uh, Robert Fisher, I think the name was. And uh, he's talking about how he's a fucking wreck, and he's a, uh, and how he's betrayed their friendship. Him and this Miss Daisy, I didn't catch the last name. And he uh, he wants us to go and uh, kidnap this person. And he's saying, however much we want. He started off at a grand, went up to two grand, and uh, on from there. Myself and Mikey came to the decision of saying, no. We ain't Damn, the chat so How the fuck's my chat being toxic, we ain't man? Doing it. The last job that he put us out on was a fucking, was a fucking risk and a half. We took it, and look what happened. Some people ended up in jail. Even Cesare's name was brought up. We turned it down because, uh, first of all, he's a sketchy motherfucker. His jobs, apparently, every single Everyone job he's done with this guy is done wrong. He, uh... Personally, we don't trust the guy either, myself and Mikey, so we decided to turn the job down. He said, uh, whatever price, we said no. Because, uh, number one, it's not fucking worth it. I mean, two and a half grand, it's a lot of fucking money, but it's not a lot. It, it doesn't count for the amount of fucking law that will get put down upon us. If we kidnapped this guy, brought him over to Jim, he hurts the motherfucker. And he's already, apparently this guy's an already known snitch, a fucking rape. The guy that he wanted us to go pick up already speaks to the fucking law. So we said, no, because whatever happens, he survives, whatever you're going to do, he's going to go to the law and he's going to talk about us. Meaning our names get brought up in more shit, in more conversations. And I said, fucking no, we're not doing it. Mikey agreed. And we turn the job down, okay? I wanted to see, yeah, uh, I wanted to see your opinion on it, but uh, I am not w willing to make a decision for the family for two grand or two and a half grand that will get a lot of our names in a uh, in the books once again. I do not want to risk it, especially for such a small job. I think you made the right call. You got my blessing to talk to the brothers about it. If you'd like, just Thank make you. sure they're on the same page. I'd like you, you to come along as well, just so uh, just so I, they know I have your approval as well, if that's okay. Of course. 
And Dom, you have my blessing to ask the uh, brothers for advice on this job, if you wish to ask them. I just want you to branch out and ask other people, because asking only the two same people who are, uh, you know, in a position of power, their perspectives, it's not always going to work out. They've been around the while, but that doesn't mean they know everything. Nobody does. I guess I'll ask you, if you don't mind me asking you, and I'd be at peace I, with this. I'd prefer it. This guy, sure I've been around him much, but I ain't him seen him talking too much outside of his girl and me. Does he, did he ever talk about his family? Does he have a heart? A daughter, a son, sister, a brother, a ma. I mean, everybody's Lombardo. got the one. Yeah. Lombardo was a, a, happily, I didn't get to learn too much about him. All I know is that he would, a, he would give anything up. For the love of his life. That's I what he would he do. Did. He fucking did. Absolutely he did. He used to have another wife and he killed her too. Same reason. Figured he would have learned his lesson in the first place. He's stone cold. I don't, I don't think he has any cold. family left, but he's got a lot of uh, soft spots you can step on them. He's not... Fucking stone cold at all. You know what he is? He's fucking weak as shit. He puts on mm -hmm. a fucking persona. He wears a fucking mask in the public. Acting like he's uh, bigger than what we have here. I bet he puts on name into every single conversation he fucking has with people. That's what I think he does. Just to just to push his, uh, push his profile a bit more over the people. Okay? But no. At the end of the day, he's fucking pig shit. He's nothing. Okay? This thing, get this thing fucking done. Get the blessing and get this thing fucking done. I don't want to hear from him again, okay? He's He's got the blessing. It's just asking for advice. Has he sent any reply? No. He's been quiet. Of course he isn't. Fucking coward's probably hiding under a rock in the desert somewhere. Okay. It's not that I've grown impatient or nothing. I just been thinking. Usually he's been pretty fast to respond back to whatever I send him, but you know, I actually set up a date and time. Nothing. Makes you start to wonder, you know. Give it a few more days. See if he responds. He said you've been in correspondence with him for the better part of a year now. I thought he'd break it off now that you're finally actually agreeing to it. Yeah. Unless... There's no possible way he could know that you were made a soldat. Yeah, there's no possible way. Okay, other than that, Wu, do you have anything to bring up to uh, this meeting right now? Um... <clears throat> not anything comes to mind right now. Okay. Have we had anything more to do with, uh, with uh, Delaney? Has anything uh, continued his, on, mate? His brother has come back into town. We are trying to set up a meeting with him to... Well, somebody's trying to set up a meeting with him to ask where his loyalties with Delaney lie. Haven't heard anything from Delaney, but apparently he came back in the state yesterday. Yeah. Haven't heard anything from Kitty either. <laughs> That's what I we am, want. I, I'm not expecting her to, uh, to uh, hear back from her. But anyways, this has been a good fucking talk. I want us to meet like this once a week. Maybe on the kick-up days, maybe on Fridays before we uh, go over and kick up. I want to catch up with everybody, collect... Make sure that all the uh, things that need to be addressed for the week have been addressed. Sure. Does everybody think they can make that happen? Hey, listen. Yeah. You you have some really good fucking earners here. Whoa, how much are you bringing in this week? Over a thousand. Beautiful. I'm bringing in over a thousand as well. Bringing over Amen. a thousand from uh, Dom over here. Listen. Little Branks is the fucking crew. We do the big fucking jabs. Listen, yes, I love, I love, I love Amadeo and Mr. Solano as much as I would love my Don't own fucking brothers. Don't Antonio's name, ready? They are my fucking brothers. But At the end of the day. All due respect. Yeah. I believe Antonio does not believe that love is bad for business. Hmm. I believe that he believes the opposite. I intend to have a long strong talk with Antonio later today. 
Don't I, you worry about that. I think it would be good. Not that my opinion matters. Damn. You, Your uh, opinion does matter. You mind if I be there with you, Oliver? Because I've been wanting to have this conversation with him, too. As long as you don't step on my toes to try to stop me from doing something that needs to happen. Nah. Nah, nothing like that. Then I would like yeah. to be there as well. If possible. As long as the same goes for you. Yes. I do not overstep. I want to make sure everybody is aware here as well. Because, Will, you just said that. Your opinions are invaluable. I need your opinions. I need your thought processes. I need you to talk to me. And I need you to be my brothers. I need to know. I need that. Never We're think cool. that your opinions aren't important. I want to hear them. Understood. Your opinion seems to be I want to throw Antonio under the trail tracks every single time I get the opportunity. <laughs> it might come across that way, but I am simply worried. I'm just fucking with you. I am worried too. Hopefully I'll be able to set him straight. If not, we might, uh, we might have more of a problem. Understood. He's trying to fill that void like you said, right? Well, like I said, he's got quite a big appetite, but we'll do anything to feed it. <sighs> Gotta teach him. So, if we're all bringing in over a thousand this week, let's make the goal for uh, the kick up this week from Little Bronx to be 4K. Holy shit. Well, I'm bringing in a 1,500. I make that show every week. 1,000. 1,000, then all we have to hope for is a... Uh, or you you still have to do the kick up, right? Yeah, of course. How much well, are you I, planning I, on bringing in? I plan on going mining for a decent bit, so I want to make at least over 600. Perfect. So uh, then we have to wait for Coleon. And uh, let's just keep working. Let's keep the numbers up. Let's, uh, let's stay active. Let's I keep love that they have this because it gives okay. you a goal to make if sure you're out making money. Figuring out how it's to so make smart, turtle, dude. Ask Alfonso. He's got a fishing thing going on. It's been working out pretty well for him. Yeah, but these guys ain't up and up early enough for it. And plus, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. No offense. I kind of like fishing on my own. I'm not Listen. saying they got to fish with you. I'm just saying teach them how to fish so they oh, can do shit. it in you their own house. Oh, you guys want to know how to fucking teach? Hey, you, wanna, you guys want to know how to fucking fish? You get yourself a fishing <laughs> rod. You get yourself a river loan. You head yourself up to, over to Cumberland. You're making about $200 in about 30 minutes. That's good money. And that's, Understood. And that's slow. And that's slow. If, if about you get an hour lucky, 15 to make 100 over in the uh, coal mine in Ennisburg. There's lots of... What the fuck was that? What the fuck was is what? climbing on roofs and I fucking borrow? There's somebody up here. Uh, people go up on yeah, the they... roofs all the time. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Left up here. That way's a dead end. It's not. Okay. We have to get out of the rules. How do we do that? Come with me. Lost behind us, gone away. Oh shit, they're looking at us. No, that's fucking. That's us. That's that's us. That's us. What? I thought that was La. I I don't oh, know shit, who the yeah, fucker with the beard is, but that's that's Fantonian. I want to get on their roof. Right, a lot of attention's being drawn around there. Come on. Oh, you can get on the roof. You always have to make it to the varsity athlete. Oh, uh, uh, you can do uh, it. Uh, you can uh, do uh, it, no, baby. No, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, there, there it is. That's why I couldn't make it on the varsity. Yeah, that's why you couldn't make it to the varsity. You couldn't get off the ladders. Oh, this is so sick. Jump over. Jump over. 
Start. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you made it. That was close. Yeah, it was. Uh, you good? You good, day? Yes. Oh, fuck was that? He was wearing beige. I believe I saw a woman wearing white as well. Okay. Hold on. I heard this. I heard someone. Did I just hear someone? Where? There's plenty of roofs here. Oh my god. I'm coming. How do we get back up there? Shit. To the left? No. Everything looks the fucking same. We came out this way. We walked up this way. Went in here. Now, where's the gunsmith? Know where you are. Huh? Can you hear me? And how can we get down without dying?
Backflip? <laughs> Wingsuit, easy. I'm dead. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, this is so embarrassing, man. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> hey, how, Bell. What, what the fuck did you do? You it fell off the wet. fucking roof? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You've been sitting here in the rain? Yes, I slipped. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> let, me, let me get you up, okay? Come here. Where is it? Miss <laughs> Oliver, don't let Oliver know, please. Yeah, so you, just, you want me to get you a pee, and I'll keep, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut, she. Yes. Sure, yeah, sure. How much? How much? Woo. Uh, Ten dollars for the bank, first of all. <laughs> oh, Are you using a bank? I'm sorry. Me? No. Ah. No. Oh well, I got this. Uh, I got this smelling stuff. You want to have a smell? Woo. You want to have a uh, a bump mm, of these no. Mediterranean soaps that are gonna get you up? They're gonna get you up. You won't have to see a medic. Take oh, a bump. Okay. Okay. Take a bump. You want it? Here you go. How does that feel? I, I don't know. Does it feel great? On the old nose? How's your nostril feeling? Is it tingling? Yes. Ah, oh boy. I feel very anxious. You feel very oh, anxious? No. See, no! See, the second one is always the one that sorts it out. Here you go. Here's another, here's another bump. No, no, no. Hold, hold on. It's his right. first time. It's his um, first time. Okay, this is his first time? Yeah. Hey, listen, this, guys listen, this, fucking clean. listen, the second one always sorts it out, okay? Listen, the second one is, the, they say, uh, one for anxiety. Wait. <laughs> hey, Whoa, don't come on. like how I feel. Oh, you don't see, trust me. see, now you got the fucking babysit the guy. Oh, shit. He's gonna have a bad high now. Hey, right, listen, I thought he had done this before. No, it's his first time. Shit, try a second one now. Try it. Oh, boy. How are you? Now. Nah. Hold right. on. You're even more anxious. No. I really gotta learn how to fix my shit, man. F.A. quit. Ban me. Giga Chad. Oh, I miss Harry. Oh, you just... How 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 you feeling? Oh? I cannot think clearly. I do not like it. What's your name? My name is Wu. 
Are you are you, are you doubting yourself right now, or do you know that your name is Wu? I know that this is my name. Hey, uh, well, uh, we had a little incident, and uh, <laughs> it ended up with a uh, somebody. I'm not saying who fell off the roof, it's and uh, real, now man. somebody is a uh, <laughs> is has taken a couple bumps, or uh, you know, a couple bumps. Who? Uh, <laughs> uh, take a walk, guys. <laughs> It was me. You fell off the roof? Yes, it was wet and I slipped. Welcome to San Diego, buddy. You're not a true citizen until you've fallen hey. off the roof. True. Alright, I got I got word from Pearly. We know what's happening and we've okayed it. Everything's fine. Yeah, we uh we found out through a uh, fucking lawman who we found on the roof. Right. He told us straight up, dead end kids. Oh. Bank robbery. Yeah, they were at the bank down the roads and they uh, let us know they were going to be using Saint Denis to hide. We'll try to get away. And I guess we okayed it. Well, now we have to where. Uh, we've kind of got a situation here. Who doesn't know where he is? I am hey. aware of where I am. What How are you, you feeling, mean? right? How are you feeling, right? You're very anxious. Can you, uh, you walk straight, you see all right, you're not feeling dizzy, you, you need some water. That is a good idea. Did you give him cocaine? Oh, I gave him Mediterranean oh, don't, don't, sauce. Yeah, don't look at me for that. <laughs> you already know how I thought uh, you the other Listen, day. I gave him the Mediterranean stuff. Mediterranean... We only use this shit when we're in the middle of a gunfight. I wish to go for a walk. If that is okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's let's go for a walk. Well, yeah, let's let's get that let's get that energy out. You wanna go for a run? Hey. Not sure. Alright, you just let me know, buddy. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> for whoa. It's his first time, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's the first time when you gave him the powerful stuff. <laughs> not not should... once, not once, but twice. Twice. Twice? twice? He fucking maybe, did it twice. Maybe we should, like, you know, take him to... Oh, we should take him to the theater. It helps, I hope. I think he needs to keep moving. Not sit yes, in one spot. I need to move. So let's, uh, let's walk down to the house, see if your buddy Antonio's there. I also and wish then... to check my telegram if possible. What? I thought you didn't use those. I don't, but Antonio reaches out to me with that sometimes. Let's go, let's go check telegrams then, and then we'll walk to the house. Sorry about that. I might have uh, got the wrong salts. I listen. I was only doing a good roll, okay? Yeah, it could be nice to give him one of those uh, cannabis he's got. Oh shit, you want a cannabis? Oh, I'll put some down. <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> oh, he's, he's going the wrong way. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Who's high, man? He's fucked up! Fuck it all for this shit. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Who off the perk, yes sir? Love is bad for business. Do not like the way I feel. Feel better now that you ran a little bit? Yes. Go out! Not by much. Oh, Tony. Yes, it is. I took it for a ride yesterday. It flew me 70 feet in the air. What the fuck is going on? Oh! Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? Motherfucker. Damn, David. Where the hell is my goddamn horse? 
Oh, he has no idea why they get ringed out either. We're on our way. Uh, give us how 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 long? I still got to talk to Coleo. Five ten, we'll be there. We're taking Coleo. Now that you're with me, we'll just be at your burrow. All right. Come on. Who am I going with? You going with us? Come on. To see you, Wu. You are in trouble. But when? You will see. I doubt it. Okay, arrogant little prick. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll be back. Is he not behind you? He said he had to be somewhere. I'm not I sure beg your went. fucking pardon? Yes. He, he had to fucking be somewhere. Is he good now? What's he? Is that what he said? That's what he told Wu. Oh. Antonio. <laughs> you doing okay now, sweetheart? Yes, I'm feeling better. Peace. Perfect. Never Look give me that baby. again. Okay. What about what about a little bit of cannabis? You want some cannabis? What is that? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, I'll tell you, you what. gotta be somewhere. Sorry. He told me to come with him. Have you seen any of I've been telling you I'm trying to have a talk with this guy all day. You're gonna take him away from me? Oh, we were coming oh. right over. Oh. Take it fucking easy, all right? We was gonna go to you right now. Jesus Christ, what's up with the attitude today? Relax. Because I need to talk to him about something important. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're fine, yo. Yeah, well, he, he barely fucking heard you. I'm Take it easy. Uh, We're going you to your burrow right now. He was Jesus. Here, but then he left. You don't mind those, but not fucking not Amadeo. I don't understand it. I don't. I truly don't. Sheesh. <laughs> <coughs> go ahead. We'll be over there. Right. Hey, boss, how you doing? You okay? You want a pat on the back? What happened over there? When? Y you know. How'd it go? Did it go well? Did it go bad? Oh no, it was a bad breakup. Oh, it was a bad breakup. I did see that she was with someone. Yeah, I like Ollie's character a lot. You need a character like this, man. Oh, Keeps things interesting. Oh. A hothead, trying to gain respect. Oh. Feels threatened, but also feels like he's got something to prove. You want me? I got fifty dollars. That was my birthday present from you. Oh. Huh? Wait, wait. Okay. All right. What's going on, Ali? Are they coming or, or what's happening? I have no idea anymore, to be honest. Being told to go here, go there. I have no idea. The Wallaby kids were coming around town or something like that. Yeah, they we were in the house having a meeting. She came in and told us that I, I don't know, they caught three of them or something or when? What does this family say a lot, Antonio? What family? This family. What, take it easy? I no. Know. No, what's the number one thing we say? What, love is bad for business? It sure is. All right. And yet, how many days in a row now are you putting off talks and going off with Rennie or some other girl? How many L days? Listen, I'm not putting off talks. Uh, that's You're one thing. You're not putting thing. off talks? I've been waiting for you for two hours today. Two fucking hours I've been waiting on you. And where Get him, Ollie! Talking with Rennie. Listen. Elevate. No, you fucking listen for oh. once. <laughs> All right. Look, you also I was at the house. Yesterday. When you usually come around. All right, I was there. I sat there for an hour. All right? I was waiting to see if you were going to come around. In the meantime, I knew I had to talk to Rennie as well. But you went there. So, I handled the business that I had to take care of as well. And what business was there?
Well, since you ask, Rennie might not be around anymore after the night. What you offer? No. But she might do something that might result in her dying. And she wanted to have one last talk before she does this thing. Potentially. And then, and then what, Antonio? When I came back home. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, what happens tomorrow? Another girl, another date? No, it's not another girl, another date, all right? Look. Well, what'd you say to me on the porch the other night? One of them, you said. One of my girlfriends, you said. Allie, I was messing around. Told me and you would be I don't playful, know if you right? were. I, I don't, don't have any girlfriends, okay? Were. Love is bad for business, all right? I've been learning that more and more and more recently. Have you? Yeah, well, Rennie's story ties in. Peach's story ties in. Everybody goddamn has these love stories. And you know what ruins it? Business. You Wait, what? Both. You either have love or you have the business. Love is bad for business. And, you know, they, they just don't mix. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Peach's, you know, man died. Rennie's. What what is what is what is Peach? What are all these dates that Listen, you're going look, on? I'm just explaining. Stop. I'm not going on dates. I'm losing my fucking temper here, Antonio. All right, all right. I asked you to listen to me, not interrupt me. Okay, I'm sorry. What do these fucking dates have to do with our crew? I've been telling all these guys important fucking details. They gotta know. Where were you on a date? I don't give a shit what the reason was. No telegram. Nothing. Not a word. Where you fucking go on a stupid fucking date with your little girlfriend, I want to know about it. When you go, when you fucking go anywhere, I want to fucking know about it. And when I send you a goddamn telegram, you respond to it like you're getting a message from Jesus fucking Christ himself. Am I speaking to the deaf? No, you're not. I'll be there tomorrow then. Don't worry. You can do your own thing. You're an independent man. I'm not telling no, you to do no, your own thing. No, I can't. I cannot. I will be there like a dog waiting for you at the front porch every day from now on. Oh my God, Tony, chill! Oh. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what I want to hear? I have a friend who's potentially going to die tonight. The last thing that I had. I'd no, at least on. like to say it. goodbye. Didn't think. It was that big of a problem. I waited for you at the house when you usually come around town. You went there. It was the last time that I could have potentially seen it. It meant a lot to me. Not that you don't mean anything to me. But I just wanted a chance to say goodbye. It wasn't anything personal. I wasn't trying to run around. It wasn't a date. If that's all it was, Antonio, then I'm sorry for your loss, and I hope it went well. But if this becomes a theme, I'm nipping it in the fucking bud right now. I promise to you that it's not a theme. Good. I need you. I need all of you. There's a spot for the top crew in this fucking family, and we're gonna be it. But I can't do that if I have a weak link. I need you to be the guy I know you are. Can you do that for me? Oh, I want to beat the shit out of him, bro. Sorry for your loss, huh? Sorry. She hasn't been lost yet, hopefully. 
Hopefully she yeah, makes hope. it out. I hope she is. Sorry, Alabin. Don't be sorry. Just be better. All right. Now, as I was telling Wu and Alfonso and everybody else, I think the cocaine just hit him. Sorry about that. Zari had mentioned to us earlier. There's going to be a top earner spot. The crew who kicks up the most that week gets known as the top earner for that week. That may have something to affect with what jobs we're put on, what missions we go out on, who we talk to, who we meet with, who we crack the skull of. If there's an important job, I want us on it. As the iron fist of this family, I want us on it. I, I need agree. everybody to put, put in 110%. Everybody, especially myself. Because every bit of effort you guys put in, I need to put in twice as much for them. I get mad and I yell because I know that you're better. I know. I know it doesn't come from a bad place. It's just today the timing was a little bad. I apologize. We gotta do it, it again. Happen again. I don't want you to wait like a fucking dog. You're not a dog. You're a fucking man. That is spell disappointment. And you can do what you like. But you're gonna accept the consequences of it. Of course. Well, I seems like it might be my turn to get yelled at pretty soon here. Nah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, um, if there's anything I missed, uh, you know, we could talk after. I'll, 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 I'll wait around. Uh, plus, I gotta fill you in on some other things as well. Boys, what did he miss? Uh, well, uh, whoa, did uh, cocaine for the first time. Well, you did a bump. Yeah, I'm such a badass. I'm smoking two cigarettes. Not once, but twice. Two bumps. Yeah, he he kind of fell off a uh, a roof, and uh, well, the only way we could uh, you know uh, help help the guy out, he uh, he uh, you know had to take a couple bumps. Bump. <laughs> well, uh, well, oh, I'm going to the void. No. <laughs> All right, where were they, Jet? Is it back here? Fuck. Is it in here? Behind gun store? Oh, I'm far. Oh, it's in here.
I don't know where I'm at. Oh, here we go. Why is there a cigarette stuck to my fucking hand, though? Whatever. You okay? You good? Hey, welcome back, sweetheart. What happened? I'm not sure. It's a poor contract. Don't sit there anymore. Shit, can you stop? Can you stop doing that shit? The f the sh sharpening. Very deep in thought of him. Oh shit! Okay, well, uh, don't think too hard. All right. Can everybody hear me? Me. Yeah. Yeah. I overheard Oliver talking to you all just now, and I wanted to add my two cents. Uh oh. Now, there's one thing I'll agree with him. There is a spot. There's a place in this family for the crew that earns the most. The one that will get the nice jobs. The one we'll trust to do the right fucking thing, make the right decisions, and get things done the way this family does. But it ain't all about earning. It's about the image you portray. You are representing the family as a crew. All of you. Yeah. Together. And as individuals represent this family. How the fuck do you expect me to come in here and give you all a job when the first thing I see Today, when I see all of you, is you're running around coked out of your fucking mind. Like this is some kind of fucking playground. True. Who's distributing the bumps? Hmm. Who is that it? That was me. Oh, was it you, Al? It was it. It was to get him back up. But I don't apologize. No more fucking bumps. Not when you're in business. You want to do it on your downtime? Do it on your fucking downtime. But if I see this crew one more time running around like fucking school kids, <laughs> if you're giving that image out to the fa to the fucking city of the family, if that's the image the family's giving out, then this crew's gonna be no more. Listen to me. We don't need you. Simple as that. What kind of respect do you expect? To command, if that's how people see you. Get your shit together. This goes for all of you, all the included. Now, another thing. We're family here. We look after each other. We look after each other and each other's personal best interest. If you got a problem, if you got something to do, Antonio, something that's bothering you, you bring it to us, we'll help you resolve it. It don't mean we gotta hold your hand all the way through, but communication is absolutely fundamental. <clears throat> you need to let people know what's bothering you, why it's bothering you, and what you're gonna do about it. Because again, you are representing this family. We are here to help each other out, not kick each other down. And I'll say it again. If you kick each other down, we don't need you. Simple as that. Damn. Now those two points understood. I need everybody to fucking speak up now. It's understood. Understood. Yes. Understood. Understood. Yeah. Good. Those are my two cents. Cesare. I got some sense. Sure. I don't want to overstep on Ali. You just need to understand he's in charge here. We put I, him I don't get rid reason. of a cigarette, chat. Now, you might not all get along too well. This whole crew's got a fucking temper. All of yous. You're all little bats. That's the reason why you're in a single fucking place here. Because I need my, uh... How would you say it, uh... 
open-minded folk to get jobs done. You ain't the iron fist for nothing. So personalities are absolutely going to clash. Well, that don't mean people uh, ain't got their own things to take care of, their own lives. Dom's got his ma. And I understand 100% he's going to be dedicating a large part of his day to taking care of his ma. Alfonso's got his fishing. This motherfucker fishes a lot all day. Falls on 500, maybe. Becomes a top earner just like that. No problem. Mr. Wu. Yes. M Mr. Wu does what Mr. Wu does. And Mr. Coleone. Well, Mr. Coleone's got issues of his own right now. And I'm sure, Oliver, you're fully aware. I don't want to overstep. But it's important that we respect each other's time. This ain't no fucking cage. This is a family. This is where we come to regroup and take care of each other. We expect you to show up, sure. But if you can't, fucking send a telegram and tell them that you ain't going to be around for the day because you got other shit to take care of. But when the family calls upon you, that's when you should be mostly around. I couldn't help but overhear that conversation you had. Mr. Coleon's going through some time. Not sure if you're fully aware, Ollie. I think it's important you have a conversation. I don't like to see this family being treated the same way as we treat fucking dogs out here. Between each other. Damn, he's against Ollie. The fuck was I just seeing? You tackling Wu on the fucking ground in the streets by the telegram. His nose is all coked up. It is my fault. No. 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 It's my it fault. Isn't. It's not. It's none of their faults. What no, the listen. fuck is going Wolf on? You got your button. Rope. Can I? Can I? Can I explain what happened? Please. That's okay. Go ahead. That ain't kids. Stand around on the fucking roof. Right up there. Right behind you. We didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, we decided to take it, uh... Take a, you know, initiative and uh, decided to go have a look what was going on, especially as it was around the little branch. So we decided to uh, go take a look for ourselves. So, we decided to go over there. So what was going on? Gunshots started happening, so we decided to go look any even further. You know, because it's around our borough and everything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Continue, yeah. I'm waiting for you to connect the dots between you tackling Wu in the fucking middle of the telegram station and giving him a stick of fucking cocaine. Okay. Now, once we were on the roof, we got divided, two to two. Don't know where Oliver and Wu went, but myself and Dan, we were... We found somebody fucking down, so we took him to the medical office. Next thing is, we come back walking over here. Wu's on the fucking ground. He's falling off the roof. I don't know what's going to get him up, so I look into my uh, pockets and I see uh, a couple bumps. So, <laughs> I uh, give them to him. And, uh, you know, he gets him back up. But, uh, he doesn't do, uh, you know, all the right. And he uh, he goes off and he uh, starts running around. So you chased him to the telegram station and you gave him a bump. No. The chase happened because of the bump. You play with my fucking words right now? No. Listen. Get yourselves fucking clean, all right? Take the bumps. Whenever it's worth taking the fucking bump, yeah? I don't want this to be the fucking addict corner over here. Where we'll walk in and you're all fucking juiced up and shit. I want to make the other point I made clear. 
Everybody in this family has got their own time to do things. Nobody's tied 100% to be here. We got to respect that. That's it. That's all I got. I gotta have a word with you, Ali. Oh, fuck. Okay. Privately or right here? Sonny? Privately. I'm ready now if you want to. Any of the business we need here? Susani. No. No, not right now. No. Come on. Hell, you're in charge while I'm gone. Can you bring Who's up going about your day regularly? Not a good fucking day in this town. I do not <sighs> like this. Okay, you're so full. What do you mean you don't like this? Well, Ollie is either about to get the shit kicked out of him or reprimanded for doing nothing wrong. Why don't you go tell them then? It is not my place. It's not on you. It's on me. I believe it's on all of us. Antonio is as hot-headed as Oliver. Oliver is stuck between a place of wanting to prove himself, but also to show that he is the leader. Or I for agree. some reason, he feels threatened by that position. Whether it's us or somebody else, I am not sure. I mean, if I may... Because I think, I think the most clashing happens between me and Oliver and myself. I gotta agree. You ain't wrong. The guy's trying to prove himself. Just as we're trying to prove to him. Just as we're trying to prove to everybody else here. Who we are. What we are. I mean, Santino couldn't have fucking said any better than myself, you know. Just, we're all fucking new bots. We're fucking crazy here. But we get shit done. That's why we're iron faced. Okay, just quickly, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm feeling fucking hungry. Shit, does anybody have any, like, cake or some shit? Cause I'm... Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, you're fine. But no, I completely agree. I just, well, I just wish... I have more input. You don't mind. I want to... Oh, no, yeah. absolutely, please. Oh, shit. Go ahead, go ahead. I... Who's speaking first? I actually ate all my food. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Tom. Antonio, over here. You need to be a part of this, too. How you feeling? How you feeling after that? You alright, buddy? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm sorry to uh, hear about uh, Miss Rennie. I don't know her surname, so uh, I'll just say it like that. I feel sorry. I'm sorry for I what mean. is uh, happening. I know she's a dear friend of yours. And hopefully she'll be back one day. With, uh, hopefully it is alive. But uh, well, I'll do whatever I can to her. Uh, or we will. We will do whatever we can to keep uh, keep your mind off things, okay? Appreciate I will it now. <laughs> but he won't. But, uh, That's fine. We I won't. don't need his ass to. Oh, come on. Say just say one nice thing. Say just say. I got nothing one. nice say, to say to him right no, now. No, 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 no. You two have some fucking shit to say to each other. Yeah, you. Can you just say to each other whilst we're here trying to sort me out some food? Does anybody have food? I don't have any food. Alfonso, I'm sorry. I don't have any food as well. Daniel? No, I don't have any food. Oh my god, right, we'll get food in a second. Hey, hey, you want some 15? 15 right here. Go go to the general store and... No, uh, I'm, I'm fine. But I, I, I want to be here for this. Go... I'm fine. All right. All I right. Know, Jesus, right. I want you to, to uh, square this shit out. There's nothing now. to square out. Yeah, the fucking is. If you two won't speak, 
I'll speak for both of you because I've been talking about you already. I believe Nothing. Antonio is going to either be dead in three days or removed from this family. That is how I feel. That is a strong, wow. a strong thing to say right there. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, really? Yes, really? I believe you are trying to have everything at once, not realizing your stomach is only so big. Mm, typical Wu response. Look. I got things I have to handle. I'm always here. You know that. I'm here every day. It's not a matter about being here or not. It's... Listen, pal. You've said enough. I don't need to hear anymore. If you want to run from the truth, you can. I will not, not stop running. you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I feel... Uh, f f I feel fucking ashamed by this. I feel fucking ashamed. Two of my brothers. Two people with so much fucking potential at each other's fucking necks. I fucking hate shit, Dom. Do you hate to see this? I do, I do. But yeah, hey, hey, look, my fucking you heart. really feel that way. Why don't you go tell Cesare and Santino, eh? That I'm either going to be dead in three days or I'm no longer going to be in the family. That's how you really feel. Well, you do not wish to hear why, so. Hmm. But I do. So Say it out loud to everybody. Well, Antonio seems to be finding himself in between two positions and a choice he cannot make. He's being pulled in two different directions at the same time. And he cannot commit to one or the other. And that what will tear him apart. To? No, please tell me. Well, we were told Oliver was our captain. And while I have my own opinions of him, I would not disrespect him, especially in front of others. You have done that. On the other hand, you have this woman you are in love with. Seems to continue to descend into some sort of chaos, which you cannot stop, although I feel you wish you could. And to do that, you would have to oppose what the family wants of you. You are stuck in a tough position. And I fear you are not sure which way to go. I only say you will be dead or removed from the family in a few days, not because I wish it, but because I feel sometimes your emotions get you to make the wrong decision for what I believe is wrong, in my opinion. Well, let me tell you something you don't know. The day I made that decision to stick with a family over helping somebody else out, now I know she's going to go die alone. So when you want to say that I'm going to be out of the family and I got three days left, although you may not wish that, it's not going to happen. Well, I hope not, but it is hard to feel that way. You feel however you want. It's not my job to make you feel the same way. Need to go for a walk. Sure. Take a walk. Alone. Yeah, alone. It's good to get that off your chest. Well, I believe he agrees with what I said. And that's why, no. that is why he's he angry. How about some fucking food, huh? Yeah, shit. I'm quickly gonna go for a piss in the corner over there. You see the plant? I usually take a piss in that one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is it okay if you're gonna go get me some food? If that's okay, like a stool? 
Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll be sure to make sure to throw in uh, extra some protein in there for you. All right. Yeah, sure. You, uh, so you can either go with him to uh, get full or watch me piss. I will go with them. I do not need the image in my head. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah. So, woo. For a guy that don't talk too much, you sure said a lot back there. Well, I only wish to observe and speak when I feel I must. I'm curious as to your opinions about Oliver. Well, I am not sure what to think. Oh, I, I know what to think. Some guys like him all the time. Like a charged piece of TNT. Waiting to be blown up by another guy. But you know what? The guy said it pretty good back there. We're fucking angry. I'm angry. There's a, there's a difference between you... And Oliver, and all the other guys. Well, if you want my real opinion, I feel... I do. He is threatened Impulsive. by his position, and I feel that he wishes to be like the brothers, but he cannot be that. But he tries his best to be that, and do in doing so, it harms him more than it helps him. Sounds like he shouldn't be Capo Regime, then. I, That's just my opinion. I do not feel he is fit for the role, but that is not my decision. I will do what I am told. See, that's what separates you from all the other guys out here. From all the other mercs. You do as you're told. But you have your morals, your thoughts, your opinions. You keep them to yourself. You speak when you're spoken to. That much I can relate to. There's a reason I took my long-ass time getting into this family. A fucking year. I've been here a year, woo. Never seen Oliver treat anybody like that, so... This kind of stuff... Recent. Well, why it is difficult is I, regardless of what he does, he is the captain, and I do really believe Antonio should have not reacted in that way. I do not believe Oliver thinks we are dogs. He's simply trying to, well, of course. assert himself. No. And it's not working now. It is not. He's but, not the leader we need, but he's the leader we have. So, we do what we're told. We bite when we're told to bite. And not be fussy babies. That's fine. As long as we still get to fucking eat. Come on. Jeez, bro. Italian spicy drama, bro. <laughs> Dom is going to try to kill this motherfucker one day and take his position. I, I got a feeling <laughs> and this is just my personal bit of sense. Don't think he'll be Capo for long. Well, I do think that he's got the qualities of being one. It's only a matter of him f extracting those. But <gasps> oh, I don't know if he will. Jeez, he took that much of a quick pace. Yeah, speed it out like a fucking... Like a fucking waterfall. <laughs> now, I do have yeah, a question. And I do not wish to pry, but it's something that's... Here you go, Will. I wish Thank to know. Too. Was it about me? Yes, it's about you, Al. Take it away. Why are you not a captain? I'm only asking, not that I wish you were, but... I am not completely familiar with your history. Uh, don't figure something for the the common pathway. How about we go talk about this? Yeah, yeah come on. Adam is gonna get himself fucked, dude. I can already see it. So many people. It's so crazy how different these characters are, man. I feel it's so immersive, bro. Like it's crazy. All these egotistical Italians trying to take that spot. You know what I mean? You got Antonio, you got Dom, you got Ollie. And you got Wu. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to fucking get this. Uh... And uh, Wu. Yes. Stay clean. 
I will never put that poison in my nose ever again. Good. Even if it means I would die. Good. Reason I didn't stop, uh, Al back there was cause I already warned you the first time. And you're your own man. I'm not gonna tell you to take your own damn medicine. Well, that is why it's not his fault I make my own decisions. I am not a child of a man, but I am my own yeah. man. Yeah. And Al, don't go blaming yourself either. You was just... You weren't always natural to you. Dom is definitely getting oh, yeah, killed, though. I see it, bro. I see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of curious, too. Well, I can... I can never question the... Uh, the boss's... Uh, the boss's choices, but... Uh, I can do something good. But then I will always do something wrong. And when I do something wrong, it's always one step forward, but two steps back. And it's always been like that. I could have a really good day making money, but then fuck up a job. Or do something that makes the family look stupid. You know, I'm the fucking funny guy I always used to be back in New York. I've been with this family for over 20 years now. I worked with the uh, the brother's father. I've been, around, I've been around that house in New York many times. I met their mother. I've dined with their mother. And they, uh, I'm very close to them. They've been to my New Year, uh, my New Year's parties back in the, uh, in the hotels that I used to run in New York. Been around them for a long time, but uh, I've always been seen as the, the party guy, the uh, always funny guy, who always made the people laugh, always used to entertain. But see, the thing is, when you're an entertainer. You grow too much, or you grow the, I don't know what it is, but you, you care too much about people's uh, thoughts. You care too much about how, if you say something wrong to them, then, then you'll begin to question yourself and how they think of you. Well, and because of that, I cannot, I cannot bring myself to be a captain. I want to be a cat, I really do. But I, uh, I care too much for people's feelings, and I, I, I can never be the guy to put my foot down sometimes. And this was really, uh, you know, I shoot myself in the foot sometimes, and this what, uh, doesn't make me a cat. It makes me more of a, uh, advisor. More. To look out from all perspectives. And just one, like when Dominic the other day brought over to me the Alabado thing. I think of all possibilities, but uh, but I I need somebody to pull the final trigger for me on what to do. I can advise people on what to do, give them the options, but uh, I can never pull the trigger myself. But I am uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. Why do you ask? Well. After learning how you feel, I agree. Not think you are fit for the role. And I say that with all due respect. I was just curious because, well, you seem to be adored by many. Well, it's me. It's the. Uh... And, you know, the last time I. Well, one day I saw Oliver's head cracked open and blood on the walls, and the next he is a captain, so I was confused. Yeah. yeah. I heard about oh, that. Oh, I... So did I, and, uh, well... Once again, I don't question what the, uh, the brothers think. Whatever I... the brothers think is best is, uh, what I think is best for the family as well. At the end of the day, you know, I haven't shown great leadership, but I show, I show compassion for the people that I, uh, I fight with, I live with, I, uh, I breathe the same air with you two. 
I care very much for the people that I work with. Yeah. And sometimes that lets me down because I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to be the person that puts people into tough situations. A good leader never will do that. I also want to make sure I was not coming across distrusting the brothers, which I do with my life. Listen. I have seen you crack a smile at one of my jokes. That's how I know you like me. Okay. Well, I do not like anybody. Hey. Oh. Oh, motherfucker. See, I know you like people. Okay. You're hurting know... my feelings now. I know you do. You've, you're finding it very hard, but I, I'm... And I hate you for it. But I also fucking love you for it. You're making me work very hard to try and crack a smile out of you. <laughs> That's what I fucking like about you. You're a fucking hard worker. You're mysterious. I want to crack that fucking shell that you have. I'm trying so fucking hard, but you keep on pushing me back. <laughs> That's what I fucking love. You keep up with that shit. <laughs> you uh, mysterious motherfucker, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta say, I agree with the guy. I am loyal. And... I see it makes Antonio uneasy because for me I do not care who dies I do not care if I die I do not care if Antonio dies I do not care if either of you die as long as it was for the intent to push the agenda this family has I've heard you talk about that you know, I mean, I was there when you pledged. But the vision that the brothers have for Saint Denis. I'm curious what you think that entails. Well, I see it too. There is a reason. But I hate this place. Everyone here believes in the fantasy where. In that fantasy, they can be who they want and achieve what they want. But the reality is only very few men and women are built for that. And I live my life trying to find who they are and to help them achieve that for me to think I can do the same. I am nothing but a foolish man. And that is why I dedicated my life to die for a good cause. For my own are too big, too foolish, and quite impossible. Hmm. <laughs> it's definitely a fucking soldier, I'll tell you that. Yeah. But uh, one day I would really love, really love to see what business you can conduct. What money you can bring in other than, uh, you know, being a hired gun or some shit like that. I'd love to see, uh, what thoughts are racing around in your mind. What ideas you have. You got any right now for St. Denis? Yeah. Always more than welcome to bring it up to us as well. Absolutely. Well, make those ideas come true. Who is she? Well, I will not lie. There has been something that's made me very uncomfortable, but it's not my place to tell anybody about it. Open well, if you want place to. to tell us, yeah. If you want to, I mean, we're both here. Well, if you wish to know, that bald man that lives in that fancy house. Sam. Sam Base. I believe he has a long term goal to overcome the brothers in St. Denis. He's got no fucking chance. <laughs> He's laughing because it's dumb as shit. Well, I don't disagree. I would have the same reaction, but... Were either of you at the meeting oh. that this man tried to hold? Oh, fuck me. You were serious. You think that guy's gonna fucking... <laughs> I don't think he will, but I think he will try. Well, oh. let me tell you, Will. As somebody who has yeah, been here, down. as someone who has been in this family in St. Denis, not only just in New York for a long fucking time. <laughs> well, How you doing? I 
I believe he's a threat, but it's very interesting. So I, I, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. Some bald fucking guy is not going to threaten our very way of life. Because I think you knows what would happen if that happens. Right? Right? I, I'm not the only one that's, that's thinking that right now, no, right? I agree. Listen, we've been around these, we've been in St. Denis running this fucking town for the last two fucking years. One guy who's come here for a month ain't going to step up and take shit. He hasn't got what we have. And you'll never get what we have. He's a man who buys loyalty from money, not loyalty yeah. for work. That's it at the end of the day. It's the kind back. of shit that's gonna fall right through his grubby fucking mitts. It's not gonna come true, whatever he's thinking. If he's thinking something. I would tend to agree, but it does not mean you should be aware. No, of course. Thank you for telling us. Hey, guys. Hey. You wanted to talk to us, Dom? Yeah. All right, come here. Is there something you want to talk to Ollie first before you talk to us? After. I asked his opinion about something else. All right. Did you leave? No, he's going to go go for a walk. Did you also bring up my thing as well? What, just now? Yeah. No, it wasn't one of those talks. And Tony left because he was not happy with what I said. That's understandable. What happened there? You sound beat up. I'm not beat up. I just got some things I need to, uh... I need to talk about and explain. And I know okay. we've been sitting in this corner for a while. I promise we'll get out of here soon, but I'd like to talk to everybody if I can. Well, we're not sure where Antonio went. And he's the one who needs to hear it the most. You want us to be all here for it, or do you just want to tell us to right now and we'll try and find the kid? Go try to find the kid and we'll all have a talk together. Sure. Go with him. Well. Yes. You want to know something, Wolf? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, yes. Are you joking? Are you joking with me now? You learn how to joke? Sometimes. Sometimes. What's your favorite joke you I, got so you far? You know what? I understand. Hello. Hello. I will not say it is right, I'm insulting. Gonna Let's check here. Nothing there. You got anything? I don't use the telegram. Okay. Well, see, the thing is... One of the key... Things in, uh... In the way I work... You said that a lot of people adore me, didn't you? Yes, I believe that is true. You have to care... You have to show the people that you care for them. Otherwise, they're not gonna do shit for you. I got so many people in town that I could uh, ask for something for free. Hey, sure, I'll pay you later. And they'll fucking believe me. Motherfucker, I, uh, I can live off a uh, grant for a year without making money. Because I'll get people doing shit for me. Because they like me. You gotta learn how to uh, make people love you. 
If you make them love you, then uh, get out the rope. Get out the rope. Get out the rope. Hey. hey. Hello. If you make them love you, then shit. The world's a fucking oyster. But uh, as soon as somebody starts to hate you, that's where you gotta turn on the angry face. You already have that. Motherfucker, I'm even scared of you when you're walking through the fucking front gate. I'm like, oh shit, is he in a bad fucking world today? I mean, motherfucker. You sit down by that fucking tree in the morning. I don't know what you do all night, but you wake up, read the fucking paper, and, and something pisses you off in there. Like, oh, the rain's looking bad on a fucking Sunday. You're like, oh, oh, the wind is bad. I cannot have this. And, and then you just go on for the rest of the day looking like you want to shoot a motherfucker. Just gotta, you just gotta let go of your nicer side. You gotta learn how to talk to people because at the moment it's like I a, do not you know, care to learn how to speak to people. They want nothing but what you can give them, and that's why I do not associate myself with anyone here. Well, don't you want anything from anyone? I do not. Well, you want something from the? Uh, you want anything from the family? I do not. Sure. Yes. Then you'd be on. Your, then you'd be working on your own right now. I do not believe that is true. Well, sure. The only thing I would want is to see the vision and the legacy live on after we are all dead. I should have check in here. I want a drink. Give me some fucking crusty rolls. Can't be in fucking rum. I realized he was running through town and I knew there was going to be uh, issues, so I didn't want you to get caught up in the middle of it. Evening, gents. Hello, can I get myself a uh, a crusty bread roll for oh. two? Can That's I get two uh, crusty bread rolls and a uh, Caribbean rum? Where is Antonio? I doubt we're going to find him, bro. Let's go down here. I'm just trying to find Antonio. What's well, so mine? Played by the barber shop. See if uh, Mr. Slano saw him at all. I think I think I just saw Rennie in the fucking salon. Yes. Did you say anything to her? It is not my place. Well, that's not good. Okay, they're not here. What is Ruth thinking about right now? Um, he's mostly frustrated with this shit show. I don't care if I have no more. There's only one thing he lives for now, and that's uh, 
making sure like the legacy that Sonny and Cesar are trying to create comes true. That's why you can see when like uh, Cesar was talking about, oh, Dom's got his mom, Tony, yada, yada. He's like, oh, woo. Who does whatever he does? Because he doesn't do anything. Everything he does Strong is for the night. family at this point. He's got nothing to worry about. He cares about nothing. He doesn't care who dies. I'm not sure we will find him. Unless he wants so to be found. Where you want to head back? And keep looking we'll for a bit we'll more. One little corner. I'll check inside the bar. I love how we're walking around actually expecting to find Tony when we're not going to find his ass. Alright, fuck it, where are we? He's not down that way. Well, let's go back. If he wishes not to be there, it's not a decision. Okay. So are you two like actually like brothers or? Only by bond, but. Oh, only by bond. Okay. I like you... believe he thinks that means something different, but it is not. Yeah, because he was like saying that you and him were like brothers, brothers earlier. Well, wow. it kind of seemed a bit weird. So uh, the the weather the weather's been nice. You think so? You like the weather here? I do not care. Okay, you know what? Just you know, I'm just gonna shut my mouth. I was talking to you. Just gotta be quiet. <laughs> sure, I can I can even have a conversation with a fucking a wall with no paint on it. But you, holy shit, is another fucking level, you. Like talking to the, uh, all the, the artists over in, uh, the one street. Oh, shit. They don't want to talk to anyone. So just quiet, quiet, quiet. But I can get more of a conversation than just a, no. I don't want to talk. <laughs> yes. Funny. Knew everything. Me and Wu got split at that time. The rest of the crew in prison are either dead. Go back. Go 
back home. See my house burning down. Engulfed in flames. The screams still haunt me to this day. My wife. My mother. My father. I love someone. And when you love someone, very easy for somebody else to tell that. Now, you're not wrong about the way I feel about Rennie. But I will never allow myself to be in that situation again, although I may want to. And Wu may be right about some things. But ever since then, my father, my mother, my, my wife, they died because of the business that I was in. More and more I'm learning every day that love is truly bad for business. I'll never make that mistake again. But sometimes it's hard being alone. I know I got my brothers. I know I got you. Sometimes I miss the company. I chase that feeling. I build myself up to it. But when I get there, for the moment that I'm thinking of what if, I remember what happened and not to make that mistake again. And I won't make that mistake until I'm done my business. I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want you to think I don't care about you or the family. It's got a lot going on in my mind. I'm trying to handle it all at once. Woo's not wrong. I'm tired. I'm thinking about things. I feel so loved. You know, so cold at night. I don't want to mess anything up. Somehow, when I feel like I'm doing the right thing, it always comes back to bite me in the ass. Here I am thinking I'm doing the right thing and I'm not. I never handle the situation. I know I'm not a dog. I'm sorry I said that. I just got upset. I just need you to know that I will be here for you whenever you need me. But I also need you to understand that, let me rephrase that, I would hope you could understand that it's going through a lot right now. A lot has happened in the past month. But moving here, being with your family, really enjoy the time we spend together. So, I'm sorry again about today. I am too. And not just to, uh, not just to Antonio, to all of you. I want to be completely upfront and honest with you all. And you can you take this however you want to take it, but I want to be honest. I was and am not ready to be a leader. Damn. Cesare believes in my ability to be one. And they're trying to mold me into it, and I haven't been. I haven't been what is needed of me. Yeah, I need a strong hand. I need to put my foot down. But we're all human beings. Badge, man. We all have desires and aspirations. And they might not always line up with the family. I'm not asking you 
to eat, sleep, and breathe the family. I'm not asking you to be in St. Denis every minute of every single second of every day. Be your own person. Go out there. Create your own experiences. A little communication would be nice. Looking I at you, agree. Will. I'm sorry, pal. I'll, I'll be better at communicating things. I literally said looking at you, Woo, but, uh, but okay. No, I feel, I, I, I feel like I should tell you more things. And I do randomly just leave the house. So I felt like that applied to me as well. I do apologize. If you felt it applied, then take from it what you will. I'm a very violent man, as I'm sure you have realized. I am a very angry man, as I'm sure you have realized. I'm not saying it's the reasoning or the excuse. Fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just... When I was four years old, my father went away. No, not even when I was four years old, I'm sorry. Before I was even born, my father went away to a federal penitentiary in upstate New York. I never met him, and I have never met him. I just know he was a scumbag, like what I've turned out to be. You're not a scumbag, Oliver. You're a man with feelings. You got a lot of people you got to look after. That's a lot to put on somebody. Don't devalue yourself like that. You're a good man. I understand, but I'm trying to get to a point. What is Wu think? Wu doesn't give himself. a fuck, man. When she wasn't strung out on H. We had a problem with that in my neighborhood. It was more common than water back then. Just trying to she build a legacy, bro. Good. Fuck all this foo foo shit. You know what I'm saying? She was a fantastic mother. One day I came home and I thought she was asleep on the couch, but she was dead. She choked on her own vomit in her sleep. I ran outside, I sent a telegram. I asked somebody to send a telegram. Police didn't arrive for three weeks. And for every single second of those three weeks, I was in that shitty little one room box we call the house. Watching her decay in front of me. And when the cops finally showed up, they said terrible things about her. How attractive she could have been in life. Shit like that. In front of a fucking six-year-old who hasn't eaten a proper meal his entire life. I think that's when I broke. I think that's when I realized that, overall, human life doesn't matter. There's so fucking many of us, and we all assume that we're special, and we're not. And that's what I assumed for the longest time for the 26 years of my life, I assumed. Smoking two cigs at once, bro. What a boss. And I hurt people, and I killed people, and I used anger and violence to get my way, and I was sure that was how the world worked. And it isn't. I was so sure that nobody gave a shit that I didn't give a shit either. And I still catch myself thinking like that, and it's gotten to the point where I treat my family, those who gave me a home, like shit. 
I put my hands on my family when it isn't warranted. <coughs> I still use violence and anger to get my way, and it's not... It's not acceptable for my brothers and sisters. So I am sorry to all of you for the You're ways fine. that I have acted. You're fine. You're fine, all of you. Stop apologizing over here. Okay? Yeah. Listen. If you've had a bad fucking day, take the time out. Go make yourself some money. Okay? Listen. You say that uh, life doesn't matter. Life does fucking matter, especially to us. Been talking all night. Okay. I spread that, baby. I'll buy that dollar. I feel it might kill my stream a little bit, but I enjoy this. That's why we're still live we're almost nine hours in. We have each other, okay? I have your back. You have mine, okay? At the end of the day, we're here to make money. We're here to live life to the fucking fullest in 1901. You understand me? You do because realize that part of, day, of what I said was me realizing that life does matter, right? Yeah. Sure, sure. But still. Okay, listen. I will put my fucker back on the line for all these. Especially Wu. He doesn't talk much, but I'll still put my love. I'll, I'll still put my back on the fucking line for him yeah, over there. Yeah, he's fucking stone cold. <laughs> I know, but listen. I know that guy would uh, fucking show somebody for me if he had to come to it. Listen, we've been here all day. Time moves quickly when, when I'm with you guys, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, I'm proud of what we have here. And I wouldn't want to be in any other fucking crew. Okay? You're my brothers. I'll fight for you. You fight for me. You understand? Understood. Who? Sure. There you go. Listen. At the moment, things might seem all down and low. I apologize for the, uh, you know, the bump situation. But that will be over and done with soon. Did you? They'll forget about it tomorrow. Listen, we're gonna get fucking Delaney. We're gonna do what we have to fucking do with him. Get that all fucking done with. On to the next thing. I want us to bring in fucking money. Every single fucking week. I want us to be the top owners. People looking up to us. I want Amadeo looking down. Well, actually looking up, sorry. I want him looking up at us being like, Oh shit, we need to step it up. We need to step it up. I want Tony. I fucking love the guy. But I want him to be looking up at us as well. We're the tough fucking dogs around here, you understand me? I might do fucking fishing, but I'll bring in the fucking money and at the end of the day I'll reap the fucking rewards. I want my boys, my brothers, you guys to reap the rewards as well. Oliver, I want you, my captain, to take lead on a lot of this fucking shit. I want you to take down the lane with us. Lead us to it. Lead us to where we gotta fucking go. Okay? Listen, we're gonna do a lot of great fucking things to get we ain't even been together for a fucking week. And we're already dropping our heads down. I want our heads lifted up. Okay? I want us more motivated than fucking ever out there making money no matter how, how you have to do it. You could be fucking selling yourself on the fucking corner making money. As long as you're making fucking money. Don't do that. But is it gonna do for money long term? Don't. Uh, we don't know yet. Right now, we're making really money really just by our pee and hopefully it stays that way. In the family. Yeah, sure, but still. We... Just, just make. Right. We're gonna be the best fucking squad around here. You understand me? You goddamn right. Wait, 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 wait. Ow. Yeah. So you're telling me? Very, very pretty broad comes up to you and says, Hey, I want you to please me for like $50. No, not even $50. $100. You know, she wants the great fat speed. What's gonna... You gonna turn down that money? Hey, motherfucker, listen. It starts off being for free, but then at the end they pay me. I'll tell you why. Oh! <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. Oh. But I don't, listen, I don't be waiting on corners. I'll be at poker tables playing. They give me a little tap on the shoulder. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll be there in a second. All he's okay. got to do is put his gut on the table and they come and run him. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, at first this starts off for free. They ask me for a, they ask me to come take a, they ask, they tell me what room they're in. I go up there. Maybe the less we say on this, the better. Yeah, I sure, don't know. sure. Yeah, but still, okay, listen, okay. listen, I can already see the mood is lifted. Okay. We've all been through sure shit. I understand. Is on the same page. We are on the same page. We've all been through shit. 
who are doing this for our own different motivations. Okay, I do this for the love of his family. I've been around here for a long fucking time. Dom's doing it for his mother. Okay, we all have our different motivations. We just got to stick to it. Do not let anything distract us now, gentlemen, because we are only on the ground fucking floor. There's a long flight of stairs coming up, and the only way we can do... And you want to know the only way we can go? That is up. There's no going down from here, motherfuckers. Okay? Goddamn right. Let's fucking mm. do this. Goddamn okay? right. We're the fucking... Yeah, look, this is a little Bronx crew. We're gonna fuck around. Goddamn right. I am fucking hand the Saint Nate. Somebody fucks with you, they're fucking with me. Somebody fucks with Oliver, they're fucking with Don. Okay. All right. Let's fucking do this. Let's do it. Let's let's swear on uh on our symbol. What's the uh? Let's swear on it. You want me to like kiss it? Wait. Oh. No, nah, let's all just like do like an, an oath or something. It should I uh, I'll fucking raise my hand can, if you want. You know, like like Bron like Bronx boys for life or something. Yeah, Bronx Bronx, Bronx Bronx boys never never say die. Bronx boys never say die. Bronx boys never say die. Come on. Bronx boys never say die. Bronx Come on. boys never fucking say die. Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> The last one. Yes, <laughs> Give I me agree. A fucking hug, Antonio. <laughs> you gotta say it. All right, all right. Bring it in, bring it in. Bronx boys never say die. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, fucking talking about. Baby. Fucking all right. Fuck now that we're here, now that we're having a good time, I do need to mention. I know. I like it too. No more fucking cocaine. No more cocaine. The only Dramatic time exit time. You no know cocaine is if you're a hundred and thirty. If you're a hundred thirty thousand percent sure you are doing nothing for Wait, the rest of the day. So hold on. So this family has no taken. This this family is taking gambling away from. Guys, me. I gotta go. He's taking fucking. He says, this one, you guys gotta understand the character of Wu Man. He doesn't care about any of this bullshit in his opinion. Right? Like, that was amazing RP for us, OOC, but Wu doesn't care about that. Let's so say goodbye. Wu doesn't say goodbye, man. He leaves. He's on a mission, bro. Understand the character. I also love this song. We're in tonight. We're going to read out. It's his birthday, right? We gotta make it to the park though first.
Oh, which way is home? Don, thank you for the fucking massive gifties, man. Back to back 50 bombs, baby. Good night, Buddha. Good night, my man. Thank you for the love, bro. What's Al's Twitch? The fuck is this? Oh God. All right, is she gone? She gone? All right. Family, oh please, God! Leave! Who are you? Well, well. I only did it because it's time over there. Get your goddamn wagon off the front fucking porch, huh? Hey, right, Tony's. Why don't you uh, show uh, Mr. Barber over here to uh, for Mr. Sloan? Dad, I'll be live tomorrow. Oh, I, uh, yep, tomorrow I'll be live. Tomorrow, Red Dead, uh, GTA and Red Dead again, okay? Go show Al some love. It's his birthday. Bye.